Welcome to a new episode of Masters of Faith. <laughs> Today with even less people <laughs> than last time. No, still four, still four. I oh no, he got his hair. Yes, I <laughs> got my hair. Yeah, now I see it too. Nice hairstyle. Oh. I, I am actually nice. not the same person as before. I am a clone. Because the real one is on vacation right now. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I, they cut me so many air that the the person that was there thought they cut air for like four people, and the guy from the barber shop was like, "What the fuck? Did we have four customers like in two seconds?" <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, welcome to the new session of Masters of Fate. Tonight we will keep up with episode five. Last episode was like full of surprises, and I hope that tonight uh, you will also enjoy whatever is going to happen today. So, what do you remember about the last session? The Dreus is fine because he was not dead, so I will leave the word to the others. Fate. Zombies. That's what Zombies. I remember. <laughs> okay. At the very end of the last session, Verkiel the droid corrupted a lot of droids using some strange gas bombs that hit like very a lot of areas of the city of Tusele, which is where the story is set up right now, on the northern side of Vals. The cities were in completely disarray, a lot of people started to get killed. And strangely enough, it seemed that only the droids were affected by this. But as you were running, you could have sworn that even some mages were corrupted by that poison. The only people that were not corrupted were the humans. So the party ran, and ran inside of a commercial center, where they finally, with a little, little bit of struggle, reached the top. This is where we are starting from, where the bear, Rio, Marcus, the mage, Samir, and the star child, Erene. Next to Yvette, of which the player is not with us, unfortunately, today, are in the roof, looking at this spectacle. And as they do, they ping a very strange connection. Rio, on your data pad, you hear like there is a strange ping coming from. But you don't really uh, know where it is right now. You should identify it first. So what you're going to do? Okay, so I try to identify it. Okay, please give me a roll. Difficulty four, tinkering. I have plus four, I think. Okay, so you rolled two. Very well. Oh, yeah, would... six. You notice that it's coming from uh, the area, even more northern from where you are, and it's a ping from Redreos. Okay. Redreos. So I take it? Yeah, you notice it. And uh, you feel like that there is something wrong with this signal. But there's wait a minute. I get to you can I ask him what's wrong with the signal? It's uh, it's being disrupted because you feel like that the user is uh, um, in kind of a disarray situation, but you cannot understand what type of situation it is. Then suddenly looks at you and she's like. Real chan what's going on? You're troubled. Uh, I'm getting some signals from Redreus, but uh, they are really confused. I can't really get to him. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you know what it is? I can bring you there. Oh, really? Oh, yes. And she turns like into a dragon. <laughs> like, uh, like Coralia the last time. She's smaller, though. That was easy. <laughs> Come on, jump in. So let's go. We'll bring you there. 
let's go. Does, does everybody go jump on the dragon? Or you just want to do something else in the meantime? Uh, if I'm directly next to her, then I will also jump on it. Okay, so everybody, Samir also jumps on the dragon. Blowing. Okay. Yvette also uh, follows up and she jumps into the dragon and you start flying towards the northern area. In the meantime, we will uh, go a little back in time. Pretty much uh, during the um, events that uh, caused uh, Berkil to reveal himself and his plan. Redreus, before everything that you're seeing right now happens, you decided to follow Bolo into the meeting of uh, the leader, one of the leaders of the Dragon Gang, June, and because he wanted to inform her about what happened to her mother, Midnight, and help her if she needed to, because if the Dragon Gang was there, it means that there was something going on. Wait a second. It's a napulance. <laughs> so, <laughs> you um, were brought into a bar, and inside that bar, you witnessed the conversation between June and Volo that explained the situation to her. And while she was extremely sad, saddened about it, uh, you uh, were just a little bit, you know, behind. Imagine like uh, Volo telling her that her mother was gone. What did the Redreos prove in that moment? Redreos? Yeah, I'm not sure I understand. Uh, can you repeat, please? We were brought inside a bar. Inside that bar, there was like Volo that brought you there because you decided to follow him. Okay. There, he decided to have a conversation with June. And mm -hmm. he told her that her mother was uh, dead or kidnapped okay. by the demon that you fought last time. And she was like saddened about it. So what did the Dreos feel? Mm. Did not understand what happened. Okay. Is still wondering what was this blade and everything. He felt very weak first time in his life. Okay. So afterwards, uh, you were brought outside of the town using a vehicle and June told you that you were chasing a criminal called Verkiel, which is known to be the leader of the Crimson Tears, which is an information she discovered like very recently. And she enlisted you for, for your help on doing that. Okay. So you have the ride with them and you and Volo and her infiltrate a facility where you expected him to be there. Unfortunately, that turned to be a trap, and mm -hmm. Verkel managed to neutralize you and Vol at the same time. Okay. You were kidnapped and chained with some special chains that um, impeded you to turn into nano machines, so to like free yourself. They are weapons created by White Crow, specifically, and were stolen by them to use just to contain Argents when they needed to. Mm -hmm. After you've been waking up, you witnessed him like on your knees and Volo next to you, talking into a screen. And to that screen, he was having like a vicious conversation, talking to a lot of people and announcing his mad plan to make bombs explode and activate like some sort of virus that afterwards turned a lot of droids and maybe mages, but you're not sure about it, into some kind of externals, but they were more vicious. They were more like uh, 
demons. Okay. After he finished making his speech, he looked at you and Volo specifically, and then the camera, and then shot in the end of June. Oh. <laughs> this is where the group could not see what was happening. And this is where we are starting your gameplay right now. Okay. Verkel shoots in the end of June, and she falls down. Volo, chained, tries to free himself and starts screaming. But he can't, he can't take out his voice because it's like he has a bandana on his face which impedes him to actually say what he wants to. She falls down, and then you have like an explosion of magic that disrupts every um, mechanical thing that there is inside the room. Even your chains. And you get free. Okay. What do you do? Um, looking at Volo first. What he's doing? He's, uh, he's not paying attention to you. He's, uh, okay, what? he's chained and his mouth is shut. Okay, can I unchain him then? Uh, you can first try to free yourself from the chains that they stopped working ah, okay. momentarily. Yeah, but uh, I have, there are the chains in front or behind me? The chains are like in front, they are like chaining your hands. Okay, so uh, my hands. Hmm. Yeah, can I try to to, with my strength, try to do something with the chains. Okay. And... Difficulty, difficulty five. Please, roll. Three. <laughs> you notice that you can try to free yourself. You try to do it, but then the chains mm -hmm. are resisting because they are strong. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you see that uh, the around June, there is like uh, some power of magic that is starting to uh, create. That power is so strong that uh, you feel like uh, the nano machines in your body are struggling to work. You feel like weak, as if something is draining some of your energy. Oh. And Berkiel looks at the situation and is like, damn, this is like way worse than I anticipated. What kind of mana is this? We have to evacuate. And then uh, you notice that uh, the place where you are actually, it's not like uh, some kind of basement, but it's actually an airplane. And the airplane is starting to, <laughs> starting to move like a little bit as if, as if it's been jammed. And they're starting to take control. And then uh, okay is like, I see that the Argent chains are not holding up. He will be free himself, dispose of him, and take the other one, Bolo, into a basement near here. We will attract them there. So one of the guards that was standing near them takes you and kicks you out of the back of the plane. And you start falling down. <laughs> nice. The last thing you oh. hear is uh, put him into a basement close uh, to the docks. They will go there and we will kill them. Okay. And then you start falling. You are now sky falling, but from very, very high. Even, even an Argent okay. can survive that, uh, <laughs> like in these conditions. Okay. Can I try to, to like, uh disperse myself uh, into another machine. You're still chained. You need to free yourself first. Okay, so I'm still the trying chains, them. The chains are damaged, so difficulty three. Five. <laughs> okay, you completely break the chains. And now you are nice. free. Your other machines are working. Okay, so I'll like, spray myself to, to reduce the, my uh, weight. 
What do you do, sorry? No, I, I just disperse my, myself into another machine. Okay, so you turn into a storm. Okay, as you turn into a storm, you, you realize that you are flying, basically. So you, yeah. can, uh, you can land. And into the distance, uh, you notice uh, that there is like a dragon working your direction. In the meantime, as you guys are traveling, Yvette has like some kind of vision. Marcus, you notice mm -hmm. that uh, Yvette's eyes are starting to um, be light, lightened, like they are blue. And the mana behind her is... Um, <laughs> the mana behind her is, uh, is starting to act up a little bit. And it's very unstable because it's reacting to uh, one of the items that she took from uh, Red and the last time. Mm -hmm. Specific, the, the medallion. What do you do? Okay. She seems like, like out of control, as if she's not there. Yvette, can you hear me? Something wrong with you? Guys, do you uh, see that? How close Something you are is wrong with her. I'm like, guys, look at her. I don't know what is going on with her. Okay. Uh, I don't um, know about magic. I don't know. Okay, so you so you say it's coming from the from from the amulet that she's wearing, yeah? This... Yeah. No, she's not wearing it. She has like uh, on herself, like on a pocket. Okay. Do I know where it is? Yeah, it's on her right pocket. Okay, I will try to take it off the pocket. Okay, as soon as you try to reach the amulet and get close to her, you get pushed back, but you also have a vision. And you see very, very briefly this figure. Mm -hmm. And you recognize her immediately. It's uh, uh, Litz Zervoros. You mm -hmm. indistinguishably her mana. And then the flash goes away, like in a second. Mm -hmm. It oh. comes back, and she's like, "Sorry, guys, I, I have to go. I will follow. I will follow this mana. You keep going and save the others." And then she um, creates uh, like uh, a wave of mana, and she starts flying down in another direction. She okay. jumps down from the dragon. I, I don't stop her. I, I let her go. All right. Did you guys do something in the meantime or say something? I'm, I just feel concerned that I don't do anything. I just say, guys, it's okay. She knows what she's doing. I saw it. she's she's. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I saw Liz Salvaros. So I think there's something that she needs to 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 find out about her. Maybe she's out there somewhere. I'm just like, you know, like grappling, grappling like the, the dragon as hard as I can because I'm scared to fall and I'm not really paying attention to what's happening. Okay. And then the Eli turns back and like, whoa, what is he that? Did she fall down? No, she, she left. She thought, I mean... I don't know, but I saw a, an, a vision of Lisa Varos. I think I think she's going after find out something about her. She she pops out from the back of the bear and she's like, "Did you let her go alone? Are you stupid?" And then she like goes goes back in because she sees that's very high and she gets scared about it. <laughs> you keep going. And you notice that there is a, a, some kind of uh, storm of... Uh, you don't understand, it's like insects, nanomachines, like flying around close to you. What you gonna do? Adreus, you see a dragon approaching you. I'm approaching him too. Like, to see what's happening. Like, just to grab. Maybe I can catch him to fly somewhere or rest a little bit and then fly myself to to the earth. 
Okay, so you see this uh, storm of nano machine approaching you, and it's way closer. It's about to drop on the dragon. What are you gonna do? I will tell the others that it's probably a red trail since we are going to his location. So yeah. We don't have to be scared. You understand that it's a spring, yes. Okay. So, yeah, okay, I just sure. calm the others. Okay. okay, we stick to that then, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so you grab him, and as you grab him, you start looking at the area around you, which is uh, some kind of port area of the of the city. The bear, you know it very well. It's like one of the best um, appreciated area in the entire town. It only works. <laughs> no, it's not working. Um, let me cut this. Am I able to speak? Yes, of course, you can say something. Okay, so if I'm with them, uh, guys, um, they just kicked me out of a plane. I just heard that they're going with Bono uh, to a basement close to the docks. Okay. Last thing I heard before they kicked me out. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so should we go to the docks too to to get okay, Bono out so... of there? Okay, so. Look at the look at the the Twitch shot. Basically, you land into a small island over here. Can I maybe see the the plane from where I felt? Yes, you saw the plane going the opposite direction, but you also see like uh, a small ship going uh, into the direction of the city. So this way. Okay. Like in this okay, direction. I, so the airplane just, goes this way, all right? And then okay. the small ship goes in this way. Okay. All right, so we landed there, right? Yes. Uh, for now, since it's very small, okay, use the dot to indicate where you're going, and it's no point of in the miniatures. <laughs> All right. I I just show you. Here is the plane I get kicked out from this. Okay. Yeah, the the plane was like up here. Okay, so basically it went in this direction, and the ship went in this direction. Okay. Well, now that we are here, we don't have much choice. We can we're not gonna swim through, and we shouldn't probably just. Like... Uh, of course, why swim through? While 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 we have the the bridge over there. No, but the bear must swim. What do you want to catch some fish too? And then Eli is like, notice that she's super tilted about it. <laughs> I'm looking into the water, and can I can I roll like to see if there's if there are fishes in there? Uh, if there I see them or not. There's like a lot of fish in there. <laughs> okay, so even in the dark we see them, right? Oh yeah, definitely you oh. because you're a droid. Oh yeah, actually yeah. Okay, so guys, what's the plan? And while you decide, I would just like be like fishing like a bit. <laughs> Volo is in danger, and she starts slapping you from the inside. Oh, I can't fucking Volo, man. He can take care of himself, right? Uh, he was in a bad situation. I don't know if he can They just killed his girlfriend, too. I don't think he's okay. We should go fast. <laughs> just see yes. if he's living. <laughs> Definitely, we should. Okay. I'll be back. You notice that uh, in the areas around, like this area over here, which is where you came from, okay? And uh, this area over here, there is like a lot of smoke, like the same that uh, attacked the city last time. Okay. So we might want to avoid those areas, but you know, we were quite far. Like the place behind, yeah. beyond the bridge doesn't seem affected, right? No, that place doesn't seem affected. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> Yeah, okay. about the bridge though. You, not you start so... moving and you notice that this uh, island yeah. here is like, uh, is deserted. 
the this place is like ab been abandoned, like uh, it's been evacuated. There is like a boat over here that um, it's uh, it's like um, it's like abandoned, you know, like if, as if someone was there, but then it's been taken away from it. So you see that uh, people left in a hurry. Yeah, guys, stay like stay alert because there might be like droid zombies in the water. You never know. Mm. Crossing, crossing, crossing. As you cross the bridge, the Dreus receives a communication. The, the signal is like a little bit damaged, but uh, you are able to fix it if you want. Yeah, and can I put it already on the speaker? Like everybody listen in the yeah. same moment when, when it's uh, saying? Yes, you can. Okay, so please. <clears throat> Oh, Redreus, I saw that you survived my little fall. I was expecting that, so you can die along with your little friends. You notice that it's the voice of Verkiel. I would actually say hi. Hi, Ria, how's going? It's a long time no see. Hmm. And also tell you that... Uh, in case you try to get close to your little friend, Volo, and one of my guards is elected, I will just kill him. And you see that there is like a room uh, with a lot, which is like some kind of basement. And Volo is like uh, chained there. And there's like some guards looking at him. And one of them like has a, has a rifle on aiming on his head. So... You get caught, it dies. You can also decide to leave your friend if you want. Let's see who wins this little game. And then he disconnects. Before he I mean, disconnects, so you want to say something? We have time. I mean, to, tell him something. to be honest, they gave us the choice like to leave him there, right? So we could we just move on. And... But we're not going to do that. Can I check the, from where the message came? Like, from... It came from the airplane that uh, dropped you down. It's like already far away. Okay. All right. Well, let's go save his house, I guess. Yes. All right. So we entered the town, I guess. You enter the town and you notice that there are some small drones flying around. Okay. Can we try to hack them? Yes, if you want. Okay. Difficulty 5. Mm. I, think I, have, I think I have 5 in Tinkering. I need to check every time. I have 5 in Tinkering. Okay. And I think I can help you. Oh, no, I got 3 in Tinkering. I have 8. Yeah. 8 in total. Okay, so... Redreus, you're also hacking them? If, I, if it can help, yeah, I can try to. Yeah, you can hack them, you can help him, yes. If you help him, it's going to be more effective. Okay, uh, so, so I do it. Okay, so you both hack the drones, and the drones, like, uh, uh, you see that you are actually controlling them. Nobody noticed that. You can, uh, you have, like, uh, free usage of them. Okay. What you're gonna do? Trying to, I'll try to circle around the town, the main town, like the village or whatever. It, it looks like a village. Okay. Circle so... around the village and to see if there's any any enemies, like or like you... something that looks like dangerous. Okay. So you make like a giant uh, um, scouting of the area, and then as you do it, you reveal like the um, the entire zone, especially like uh, part of the area like this. And you notice that uh, while the village doesn't have like a lot of um, people anymore, like there are still some, but they are more uh, busy running away. There are some guards uh, looking around the, the other side of the town. More specifically, okay. there are two snipers, one here and one here. 
Are they are they zombified or they're just like guarding the place? Hey, they look normal for now. Okay, maybe we can just like interact with them. Or are they like part of the enemy group and we have to be there? Us? What you gonna do? Okay. I'm gonna mm. start I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, placing you all. Okay. Okay. Yep. Might be easier, yeah. Okay, so just tell me which area you are. You are still here or you've started to move or you're or you're here? Which direction you went? Uh I think we can probably just cross here and come to this part of, of the place because it looks like, you know, less crowded with all the house and it might be easier for us to get inside by maybe coming by here or whatever. I don't know what you guys think. Yeah. Or do you want to go like, through the whole village? You mean like going around the houses might be safer? I mean... It is dark might... and the guy is looking around here. But if you stay around there, you know that it's gonna find you at any time. If he, okay, if he turns we'll... like left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we can go inside and try to cross like this, you know, this section yeah. here. It like... might be easier to see us because there are not that many houses on the left side. So if we go in the middle, we might be able to get some coverage from the houses. Okay, fair. Okay, so we start. So we start more like we we didn't cross yet, uh, Giacomo. We are so we are starting like somewhere like here, like after we cross the bridge. Okay, now you can move yourself. So you can just go there. There is no need to uh, resize you because the map is in perspective. So the more you go, the more you have to get bigger. So, mm. um, so you are around these houses. Give me a stealth roll. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, there is two. So yeah, two. Okay. me also two. two four for me. Four. Oh my okay. god. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense because you are huge. So, <laughs> as as you run, you see that there is like a city zen, and it runs towards the other direction. And it's like, what are you doing here? And are you not evacuating? Do you need help? I'm punching him. <laughs> oh, uh, there. you were faster. You were faster. He loses consciousness. <laughs> We cannot let them see us, guys. Don't trust anyone. Yeah, let's pull in somewhere where the uh, sniper won't see him. There is a trash can there. There, he goes in the trash can. Yep. Of course it does. Okay, you're dropping me into the trash can. He's still alive, but he's gonna have an headache later. So. Yeah. And probably okay, he's going to so puke because of the stinking... From this moment on, okay, start moving, but very slowly. Because uh, I need to direct you to whatever is happening. Okay, so just don't start just going like this. So, where are we going? Which, which yeah, way? way? Like this? Okay, yeah. okay stop. Yeah. Stop. You see that there is a drone moving in this direction. Okay, so a drone that we're not controlling. Yeah, it's the other one. The ones that you are controlling are still there. They just didn't move. They didn't notice they were out. Okay. Do they have like a, do they have like a like predetermined pattern of moving or is it just random and Yeah, it's just going like if you wait enough you see that it's going like this and then it's going back. But it's only looking in a cone in front. So where you are right now it's not spotting you. Okay, and we need to cross like somewhere here, right? So yeah, maybe I guess here, like between these houses, we're gonna be seen. Yeah, I mean, if we want to move not too fast, you know, to give some time like for events to happen, we might just want closer to here, and then okay. crossing here, like in in two step, like one and then two. Okay. Um, okay, guys, because I because I'm the big stealthy one. Right, mm. I will cross first, okay, and then you just follow me. I will leave like some, you know, some trail for you to follow. Right, show yeah. how how it's done. If, 
If you get caught, we go the other way. Okay, stealth with people T5. Oh. I got I rolled six and I plus four. Okay. Nice. You are not so, seen at all. So you guys see me like doing some like, you know, some roll and shit, you know, jumping around like like a ninja. <laughs> and then I cross. And I'm like, it's safe okay. guys, come. As you do that around you, there is a drone scanning you. And the drone starts going like up and forth. And it's like zzzz. normal city wildlife detected. It's just a natural bear moving on with the procedures and it goes away. Self <laughs> <Elf> 101. <laughs> The the drone uh, is still doing like back and forth to the other one. Can like... I just try to hack the drone? Yes, you can. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> uh, should I roll? Yes, you have to do more than two. Okay. <laughs> so no point in rolling anyway. I have four. In... Oh. Okay. I so have you got plus four. Plus four. Uh -huh. So you managed to hack the drone. All right. You notice that okay. once you act the drone, um, since there is like three, three, three drones being act, uh, someone might start uh, looking to see something weird happening there. Might get suspicious. Okay. Do you want to do something about it, or you just leave it as it is for now? Um. Can you repeat, sorry, the situation? You notice that uh, since you already act three drones, whoever is like uh -huh. in the control room for them. Might okay. get suspicious. Do you want to do something about it, or you just uh, leave, it, leave it as it is for now? Can I, from the drone, hack the control zone? You could, or but... Get uh, to the control zone to hack it, too? You could, but uh, you know that the person in the control room might realize that you are hacking them. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release one of them by crushing into the head of this guy there. The guy was in like the tower, so that way we can like move freely. You you're gonna command him just to smash his head? Yeah, like he's just gonna <laughs> hit him, right? So. I would have like like a like a um idea, which is part of hacking. Like we could maybe just just uh, let when the drones record what they're seeing right now. I mean, if they're if they're following the pattern. The one who's controlling them should not realize anything if he sees the same thing again. True. Just an idea. Or? Or. Yeah, if you want to punch we it, crush do it. it in his head. I saw it's... you rolling, so I'm doing it. Three. Okay, I already rolled two, so it happens. You crush the drone, the guy's head, he loses consciousness. Let's go. Okay. okay. So we can move freely now. It's in the dark, so nobody can see that he's in there. In this direction over here, you see that there is like some kind of stairs that will lead you here this way. But if you try to take the stairs, this other sniper will see you. Okay. Well, let's walk toward there already. So, you guys follow? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess now we can walk here because okay. the guy is not watching Stop us. a second. As you keep going, you notice that there is like an old lady throwing up the trash from the window. And it it's... Uh, one, two, three, four, in which four is the bear. <laughs> he hits the trails in the face with the trash. Yeah. <laughs> you are smelly now. Happy. Well, uh, I, I could uh, make a suggestion. Like, I, I do have some alcohol bottles from from the you know from the place of, of before if you want to have like a little bit of disinfection in your face i could give you some uh, at least um it's okay don't worry at least no, you don't, I don't know i don't smell you well as you, you you are smelling of fish from the last week <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Shall we move well, on? Your decision, man. Mm, no, I'm um, right, I guess it's there's not here, right? Yeah, going. yeah, and then you're getting close. Okay, stop. This is yeah. the point where uh, the other sniper will start seeing you. Okay, you are, you are behind the building, but the sniper has a clear view on this entire area. So if you try to get from here, she will definitely see you. Can you guys, sniper people, do something about it? <laughs> Rio and Marcus? Yeah, I could. I, I have a pistol, not a sniper. I have a sniper, I can... I can okay, but wait, is it silent? Or like, do you have like, something to make it silent? Or? Uh, not specified. <laughs> We can put on it silent. Yes. I don't know if that's allowed. Can Marcus well, use like his magic yeah. power to make some like wind suppressor the, the, thingy, magical thingy? There is a solution, but I'm not gonna tell you. But yeah, there is oh. a way you could make it silent easily. I have another like, solution. Can I just tinker with it and try to make it silent with some can, pieces? Can Redreus use nano machine to make it silent? Like, you know, like creating a silencer. Something. Yeah, that, that was what I was thinking about. Can I not, like, creating something to put on the sniper? Yes, but you have to roll from 1 to 6 to see how effective it is. Which one is uh, less effective and 6 is very effective. Okay. But then Rio is uh, shooting, I'm just doing the silencer. Yes? Well, you do the silencer first, and then we'll see if we shoot or not. Because... Yeah, so you, can, yeah. You, can, you can just, uh, you can just create it using a part of your nano machines. Yeah, the, the question was if I was shooting or not. I, okay, I'm not shooting. No, no, no. I make a two. You make a two? Uh, okay, it's uh, you can you manage to create it, but uh, it's not really effective. It might be heard by someone. And if we add some wind, then with the magic. If uh, like, if you control some... the bullet with the wind, uh, yes, you can definitely like create a bubble of wind that will uh, take away the sound, yes, and then like shoot it. You can you could even uh, use the wind to control it even better if you want. But you you oh. also need to roll one to six to see how effective it is. Then we can like add all this together and make a perfect shot. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Consider that I did six, so Marcus needs to do more than four with that. Uh, make it happen. Do I get like a plus for magic uh, spell casting? No. I, have, uh, yeah. I had five in spell casting. But yeah, but that doesn't increase the chance to it. Then I only have three. So you did the uh, uh, two plus three. Leo. You have this sniper which is being loaded with like weird nano machines. Yeah, I'm not happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> so please roll me the feeble T five. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Everything so is so close. Okay, yeah. so, so you are there. You pull the trigger, and as you pull the trigger, like uh, the um, silencer holds, and uh, the wind also uh, manages to make it silent, so the shot is not heard. But as you shoot, the person turns around last mute, and you miss her. And she looks the other way, and she thinks, like, what the hell is going on? Damn, I, I think I heard something. But she's now looking on the other direction. You have, like, a brief moment when she's distracted. Okay. Should we cross, guys, quick? I yeah. mean, there, there's those guys there also. Right? So... Shooting again would take too long, because you have to reload. So just let's go. Yeah, I mean, let's go. If we get here, we have to fight, like, no matter what, I guess, so. Yeah. Let's go. Is there only one guy? There is like one guy on the two on the roof. 
and mm -hmm. then the other two down there. If you take the stair okay. and you go inside directly, they will see you. But you there can was... hide down down to the stair, like where the sniper is, like on the other side. You won't be able yeah. to see you because you are under her. But if you mm -hmm. take the main road directly, they will see you. Okay, so let's wait, I guess, like here. here. Yeah. Can we like? Uh, so we are inside, right? Up here, and, uh, maybe. Like yeah, climb it... up here to to get to to the sniper from behind. Is that possible? Is there a way? Yeah, there is a way. You could go like inside, and there is like the stair to take her from behind. I mean, you can go do that. Actually, someone is gonna have to. So we don't have to all go upstairs like to take down one dude, right? So. I mean, we have two, so I think one should go to to one sniper and the other one to the other sniper. What? Which? I don't know. This guy is down, right? So. Yeah, the other guy is like uh, unconscious. Yes. Uh really? Oh yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, just just you know, push him from the first floor, like uh, when you pass by, and just like. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So who's we gonna go? go this one. Okay. You are gonna go together, or just one of you is gonna go? Who is the best in stealth? Well. Technically, it's me, I guess. I have four, too. I have uh, four. If you, if you want, I I still have, like, a, a stealth suit. And Eli, yeah. Eli interjects, and she's like, are you guys measuring stealth in numbers? You guys are weirdos. <laughs> I only asked who's the best in stealth. I didn't ask about numbers, but in well, any case, I have a stealth suit. If you want to use it, it will help you maybe. And I'm and I'm like, I open my jacket and I take out my certificate and I'm like, look, and I open it and I'm like, I'm level five certified stealth ninja <laughs> from the ninja school of bears. Sure. Watch now. Let's see how he does it then. I am hyped. Okay, no, please. keep the keep the stealth suit, uh, Marcus. I will just like. All right then. Be ready okay. in case those two guys react. That you can take them down as fast as you can. Okay. okay. The, the awareness of the sniper is five. You have to do more than five in stealth. I right, should be fine, right? I have four plus four plus four. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. So. Uh, I loot this guy at the same time. <laughs> You waste time losing that guy. Okay, the other person doesn't see you because you're behind the wall. And you loot him and you see that he has like uh, a silencer on the sniper. Oh, cool. Okay. You go take it off I, if you want. I take it and I throw it. And I'm like, Rio. And I throw that to Rio. Done. Oh, but okay. they are kind of inside actually, right? So maybe I can't. No, exactly. You you yeah, can okay. uh, you can see Rio right now. Oh, okay, okay, you could you could save it for now if you want. I'll save. Oh, yeah, I keep it for now. Uh, also, uh, you notice that he has some credits on uh, his uh, like credit taker, so you could uh, download them to yours. I'm downloading that as well. Okay, Wait, you I'm you adding. receive uh, 150 older. Older silencer pair. Okay, and I punch him in the face just to make sure he's done. <laughs> Break his helmet for free. Like you are not sure if he's alive or dead at this point. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> okay, so I continue my my stealth mission. Up. Okay. Up. You go up. Okay. In order to get up here, okay, you got a uh, and not be seen by him. You got to roll again. Mm. Okay. Oh, fuck, I did three. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I lost two all. So how much? Uh, you're fine. You need to do more than three, so you pass it by default. You can go. Uh, I did. I rolled six. Just <laughs> just... Okay, you can do whatever the heck you want. Describe me how you do it. I'm like, I'm like, I will show them how to use the. I will show them how to use the silencer, and I grab the silencer in my hand, and I walk, like close to the guy, and I hit him behind the head with the silencer, like pretty hard. <laughs> the yeah. silencer breaks and the guy falls down. <laughs> the silencer breaks? Oh, damn it. Yeah. yeah that's how you do it. <laughs> I'll buy silencer. Okay, so this guy is done, right? Yeah, he's un she's unconscious. Okay, and for my next move... <laughs> guys, be... Ah, 
We have radio still, right? So I'm, yeah. trying, to, I'm trying to contact you guys. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear yeah. you. Okay. Be ready, like to, you know, to to to, to move, like if if needed, at my signal. Um, okay. Which direction? Uh, I I don't precise. I just like I cut communication, and then <laughs> I will jump on those two guys from like the roof. Okay. Um, Can we see that? Okay, wait a second. Fuck, man, what's wrong with my rolls today? It's not your roll, it's just because I'm stealthy for you. You have to do more than five. No, wait, it's plus two for them, so... We have to do more than nine. Nine? Yes. In stealth or...? Because, yeah, they're both gonna look at you. Combined. Okay. <gasps> Like, come on, it's a pair dropping on top of them. I did Aren't eight. They a bit? I okay. did eight. Okay. Oh, oh God. Uh, they are going to see you. Um, these two. You jump down, and as you're jumping down, they start to see you. And they start to move on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, stop there. Stop the end part there. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of them. Please uh, roll me chance to eat on both of them. Okay, so mm. one one did six, and the other one did six as well. <laughs> six both. Okay, I rolled like a broken free, and another free. Oh. They both uh, they both evade you, and you just fall in between them. Okay, and it's, you, it's time to... you make yeah. a lot of noise. These guys. They uh, were moving away this direction, so they didn't hear you. But mm -hmm. uh, if this one starts shooting, they will uh, notice you. Are I'm you guys going to do this. something in the meantime? I'm just going to wait to see what comes from here. Uh, I got this. I... You're still? Yeah, I got this. Not for man. Okay. I have a plan. It's, yeah, it's, time, okay. it's time to use. It's time to use all my, all my tools, you know, and shit. So <laughs> let's see if I can do something. So okay, I'm on the floor, and as I'm on the floor, I'm trying to kind of like make my now you know talk no jutsu, talk no jutsu them right a bit, and I'm like, I'm okay. like guys, someone push me, someone push me from the from the roof, you know. <laughs> it's like. You notice that uh, one of them is trying to get close to the radio to contact the eight quarters. Okay. Uh, it's like okay. getting close to this, they're about to okay. contact. Okay. It's fine. I activate my magnetic shoes to try to get like his, you know, his equipment like sticking to my shoes and like, you know, so he cannot, he cannot attract, atta ah, he cannot, you know, reach to them. <laughs> okay, yeah, plus two by the little cinema. <laughs> <laughs> I did six with one, Jesus Christ. and I did four with the other one. Okay, six oh. for one for the first one. The okay. eight. It's uh, it five. counts. It counts for both. So let's you, go. So you, you what? Eight. If we understood correctly, you are trying to attract their weapon, the stuff to you, like uh, we actually are mine yet. I will. I will tell you what I'm doing. Okay. I'm like I'm activating my magnetic shoes, right? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I do this like you know breakdance move where you roll, you know, with your feet on the on the in the air, so I can attract all their shit. That's how you do it. <laughs> you, you attract Aplata. them, <laughs> attract their shit, and uh, the guy tries to take the radio, and the radio just takes away from him, and he attacks on your feet and gets crushed as you move around. So what you're gonna do now? Well, I give them back with my feet glued to, you know, glued to the radio, right? So kicking, kicking them in the face. Okay. It's full breakdance movement. So I'm jumping and I do, do, do the double kick thing like on each side, trying to take them both out at the same time. I said I said I had this, right? So I'm you trying. have to do more than four and three. Easy five. Okay, you you knock them both unconscious. Boom! There you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> they fall down. Hmm, damn it, we should have had some popcorn here. That was a nice show. Reload. 
Okay, and they, they fell down. And you notice that there is like this group which is coming, starting to come back. They might see Wait. you, they might see them at least. Or fell down. Can we hide the body? Uh, yeah, we can. I'm pushing, I'm pushing the bodies on the side and I'm using ref reflective skin at the same time to disguise as one of them. Okay, where are you pushing them exactly? Just move them. Uh, in the car okay. there. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm like, uh, under, under, behind the car. Okay, so behind the car over here, okay. And they can see us here, from here, or not? No, they, they won't see you, and you have the reflective skin. Yeah. Uh, please roll. It's a six. Yeah. It's the, the perfect yeah. reflective skin. <laughs> Great. Okay, fine, you win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't see you. I'm like I'm just like waving, you know. And then they are just uh, you know doing their own conversation as they are walking on, uh, which are gonna go behind uh, this car over here. They stop and they start talking to each other. You don't hear what they're saying, but if you get closer, you could. Let you guys do the next move. Guys, we are three. Maybe we jump down on them. I mean, it's kind of similar than the bear. But maybe Elio can shoot one. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I can dash one. And I don't know you can magic one. Or... Yeah, I can push a ball on him, energy ball on the okay. third one. Yeah, maybe Rio can shoot the. the... More like far from us, yeah. I think, or your bubbles or uh, factors, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I think we can like try a, an attack like this. So, yeah. just to be clear, are we like on fight or are we they, 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 in didn't, action, they didn't notice you? So, if you try to shoot them, it's gonna go against okay. the awareness. Okay, so my silencer is not working anymore, right? Yeah, you don't have a silencer. You, you yeah, have it not... yeah, okay, great. <laughs> but uh, but um, the Reus can create another one, can try. They, they could try uh, to do the same thing as before. Can we try again, Redreus, please? Yeah, but if I do that, can I leave the, the silencer and attack them too? Yes, you in, can do that. In the side? But Marcus can. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you can give part of your nano machines, but Marcus must be there to keep the no, no. thing going. Yeah, I was just talking about my nano machine, not about the uh, yeah, yeah. about Marcus magic. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can definitely leave the nano machines there. Yes. Okay, so I can do it. No, no problem, Rio. We okay. can. Like, we're not using okay. the, the wind magic. And uh, so again, uh, as well. again, Redraus, please run me from one to six the efficiency of the silencer. I won. <laughs> right. Wow. It's even worse than before. It's like you don't have it. Okay, so maybe it's not the best idea to use that now. Maybe I can use one of my of my dads to make them confused and not attack us for a bit. You you have the uh, one of the darts that can stun them. Yeah, exactly. So if you guys want. I can stun one of them. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. If I hit. <laughs> let, me, let me double check the dart. Okay. So, you have the dart thrower and you have like uh, stun dart. The target have two less actions on the next turn. Uh, mm -hmm. Slip dart, six no little damage. If you get them from stealth, uh, it will receive three times the damage so you will knock them down with one of them. Okay. And uh, gas dart expands a 10 block square and it creates a gas. Can I do the gas one? It wouldn't get to us. It, right it's, it's like a smoke bomb, basically. So, what if we do a smoke bomb and we go? We won't see them too, then. But do we want to kill them or we can just. I can. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. If you want to kill them. But if you want to escape, we can also without. As you want, guys. Fighting. But I can kill them. <laughs> if you want to fight, I I can. 
I don't mind. Uh, how about you, Marcus? Well, I will just, yeah, go along, do what you do. Um, okay. So <laughs> if you want to fight, we can fight. I don't, I don't mind. I think we we have to. So let's go. I have an idea before before we do. I will walk toward them as I'm like, you know, oh. camouflaged, and I'm like showing that direction, and I'm like. I'm calling them, and I'm like, guys, there are some people hid hiding there. They try to, they try to do something. I'm not super convincing, but you get what I mean. But if they don't believe you, they shoot you. No, they will. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Uh, please roll. Takes. Eat shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> they believe everything. Whoa! Right. How much persuasion do you have? Probably enough. Let me see. Um, do I have persuasion? I have plus three, but it's nine. Fucking convinced them. <laughs> <laughs> and they start walking away towards the and they're like okay we will give a look but I'm not gonna raise the alarm just because you maybe saw some cats you dumb fuck where is your <laughs> companion anyway did you left uh, him because are... you're an asshole and they start okay. moving along I'll bear the shit out of them here yeah. we stop here like in the alley uh, like it was not a cat it was a bear uh -huh. and then I reveal myself and I start punching hard. All three of them. Oh yeah, man! All three of them. <laughs> I have the element of surprise, right? So it's man, like why, them. why? Why the man? I oh, what? What? Two times one. Huh? You have to do more than four to hit at least to miss at least one. I have three. Okay, so what happens is that um, you knock down. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Describe okay. me how you do it. I grab them by the head each and I just slam them against each other. Well, I slam them against each other. The third one uh, starts to run because he wants to warn the others. And he, he, he ran away from your grasp. He's, he's running like this direction. Okay. Can I, I still have time to do something? Yeah. I one grab option. one of... Okay, it's easy. I grab one of his guys. This dude, I grab him and I throw it at him. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. We have to do more than two. It's six. It's sick, man. <laughs> oh, God. The, the pair is all <laughs> yeah. you, you throw the guy, you throw him on the other guy, and then it just smashes him, like, and then it's unconscious. What the fuck, man? Okay, the Bear Chronicles. <laughs> okay. It's okay, guys. I got the... <laughs> okay, let's see it and watch. Yeah, yeah. Bear. Do, do you want to do this alone? Do you want to, to save Volo alone? I mean, it doesn't look like you need us for it. But it could be so. I'm just, so I'm, just doing, I'm just doing post sign that you have to come and I can cross the street. The worst thing was, you didn't want to come at the no, beginning. No. Uh, you go down, and uh, this entire street is free of enemies right now. You're welcome. Well, respect. Well, we could enact, so. Yeah. Either you're going to move with them, or I'm just going to stay there? I can stay there, I guess. Just gonna... Oh, wait. But there, this is like an alley, right? Yeah, this is like like some kind of like small tunnel, and it leads you to another alley on that side. And even is there an trash in that alley? No, yeah, there is no trash cans, but it's dark enough. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I guess they can stay there, right? Oh, yeah, I just cross. Don't mind the mess, guys. Mm. Yeah, I just need to rest 
and you guys take take uh, take the lead because I need to make pasta. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, let's let's just say I'm, I'm tired for, for more the action and I need to just like stand a bit back. Yeah, but I will yeah. be there for support. Yeah, all right. Stop all one right. second, you're overcharged. You need to wait until you're charged again. I'm yeah, gonna give you it. some power void rights. <laughs> all right, we'll just leave him there for a few minutes and then he can catch up. Okay, so the bear, the bear is uh, overcharged, so it's gonna, it's gonna have to stay there. What you guys gonna do? As, uh, as soon as you reach the corner, you notice that there is like two guys walking outside, and two other guys, okay. but they are looking in this direction. They are not looking this direction. Okay. And this, this is somebody or just yeah. as as you pass through the street, you notice that also you could have gone this way if you wanted. Okay. Yeah. Well, but. If we go this way, probably they, the two, the two here would have seen us. The other two not, but yeah, we'll see. Okay. So what should we do? Should we stealth again and attack them? Can we try like this way, like here, somewhere? There is a there is a way. there is a door. Uh, you could sneak in, like to the building, but you don't know if it's gonna lead you outside. You might try it. You want to try it, Rodriguez? At least I'm not the smallest. But you can Maybe. do it. Okay, okay, I will try. I will. But now you can turn into another machine. <laughs> yeah, too. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, we don't have Yvette here, so I'm the smallest then. All right. So, stealth. Stealth. I have to do more than three. Four plus, I mean, four okay. plus one. You find, you find that there is like a wooden, no, not the wooden door. You can try to open it up. I try to open it up. You open it up, it's It's like kind of awkward because it's making a lot of sound. Yeah. <laughs> you go in. Mm hmm. It's a, uh, it's uh, there is nobody inside. It looks like an abandoned house. Okay. Yeah, what you're doing in the meantime? Uh, I, I want to follow because yeah, there's nothing much I can do alone. Okay, so you you follow them and you go inside the room. Okay, everybody, throw me awareness. I don't because I'm still resting. Yeah, okay. that except for the eight. I have eight. So. Four, okay, eight, so three, Rio and Marcus, you both find that there is like uh, um, some kind of crack into the wall that could lead you to another apartment, like on the other side. It's like a small hole, but uh, you see that there is like some small light coming through there. So we go. If you guys, okay. we yeah, would have to crack the wall open if we want to go through. The I door. have a plasma torch. I can do it. Okay. I don't. Okay. We should go like maybe a step back. Okay. Yeah. We, yeah. We oh, should be maybe, careful. May, and that is going to make some sound or not? The plasma mm. torch is like uh, relatively silent. Yeah. Oh. All right, so you use the plasma torch to uh, open a bridge through the wall. Yeah, if you guys are okay with it, I can do it. No problem. All right. Okay, All right. so I do it. Okay, so you start doing it, and uh, you notice that there is just a light on, uh, but whoever left the whoever was in the house just forgot to turn off the light. Okay, so it's empty. There's no one there. No, there's no one there, but uh, there is like a lot of stuff inside. Looks yeah. like uh, the deposit of some kind of criminal or some low life people. I want to and... take the room. Yeah. Is there anything that yeah. we could use? Uh, give me awareness. Yeah. 
I will have eight. Okay. Yeah, me eight as well. Okay. And probably seven, seven. seven I okay. didn't check. Okay, so about uh, Ria Marcus, you find like that there is like some uh, um, frame which has been moved like a little bit. There might be something behind it. Okay. Um, okay, let's try to um, put it away like slowly. Okay. Okay, you notice uh, that uh, you can pull it down very easily, and inside there is like a small hole. Uh, which contains a lot of like a card with money, and inside this card there is about two hundred and fifty elder. And uh, there, there is also there is also a gun with a silencer. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a radio. What kind of gun is it? It's a it's a pistol similar to yours, but the silencer can be adapted to any weapon. Ah, uh, okay. I guess the the pistol is not better than my pistol. Um, so, yeah, you know, really, do you want to have a silencer, or or can I have it? Uh, hmm? uh, yeah, you can have it. Okay, <laughs> then I will take it. I will de stick it like I will take it off the pistol and take it into my inventory. Okay, so you have we'll like take the uh, money too, right? Huh? We yeah, can take the money too, right? There's yeah. also a, a radio which is disconnected right now, but you could connect into it directly. You know? Yeah, that's. I want to connect it. Okay, you connect to the radio, and you notice that you are inside the radios of these guys, and uh, the closer you get, the closer the signal would be. And you overhear the conversation of these two guys. And one of them says, man, can you believe it? After a year being here in this shit, tomorrow I'm going to vacation. It's going to be the best thing ever. I'm like, no, man, finally, you deserve it. I started yesterday. I feel that my adventure here with these guys is going to be incredible. I know, man. It's gonna be great. Not usually, nothing happens. It's always chill. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> I accidentally start uh, <laughs> start uh, talking about some other irrelevant things. Mm. I have a question. Yes. Uh, about my reflection field. Mm -hmm. Can I use it to impersonate people? I don't know how they look like people I don't know, but no, right? Because uh, I was about yes, being... you can. Uh, I... It uh, it gives the the basically it gives the illusion of taking the appearance of someone else. So just need to roll the uh, d six plus thinking to see how effective it is. And it's gonna work. Oh. Yeah, I was you, thinking you... about using it with these guys impersonating their boss to tell them they are on vacation right now so they can go. Uh, you So you want to impersonate Verkel? Yeah. I mean, I'm already like him, so I could just yeah. do it with him. <laughs> yeah, technically, <laughs> yes, you have a plus three with this because he looks like you. Um, yeah, yeah I, w I want to do that. Okay. Okay, give me, give me a roll, plus three. Okay, these two guys are clueless. <laughs> because it's tinkering, so you have plus uh, four. How much do you yeah. have? Think it's plus four, I'm plus three. Like... So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can do that. Please do it. Describe me how you do it. Okay. So, I'm to the guys like, guys, I will take care of this. I If there's one advantage to looking like. But wait, are you coming out from this side or from this side? I want to come out from here. Ah, okay. Can I? Okay. Yeah, yeah, just do it, yes. Okay. Just so I come uh, from here, looking super formal and super scary. like. So I was telling you that my girlfriend, the other time, oh my god, it's Verkel! <coughs> sir Verkel! <coughs> uh, uh, sir Verkel. How did you call him sir? And then he slaps him on the head. He's not a sir, he's not a boss. Hey, boss, hey, this is the boss? Hey, hey boss! Guys, guys, guys. Boss, what's going on? Why are you back? I thought you went. You were uh, supposed to wait some uh, assholes coming here. I had to come to take care of some business here. 
And I saw you working really, really hard, and it's super late right now. So I think you can just take your vacation right now and go home because you deserve it. And I will take care of the rest because everything is under control right now. But boss, we don't want to abandon you. I'm okay on my own. I have all under control. I have these kids trapped. But boss, we want it. And then the other guy slaps him on the head. Shut up, rookie. Let's go. Come on. I know a bar that is very close to here. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Man, it was my first day. I want to give a good impression. Hey, you will have tomorrow <laughs> to do it. And there you go. <laughs> they keep going away. <laughs> and they slowly go away and uh, leaving the area. So I called the rest to tell them that the area is clear and we can advance without being seen. Okay. Uh, the bear is not overcharged anymore. Okay. I'm not. I'm not fully charged yet, though. Just warning. Yeah. Didn't you have enough carbohydrates? Come on. You're gonna get lazy. That was impressive. <laughs> Great film. Right, those guys learn from the best. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Where should we go? Okay, so this area over here uh, is leading to another street, and you notice that uh, there is like a way to go over here, which is not gonna lead inside of a basement. It's kind of warehouse or whatever. Okay. Can you guys see that guy, or is it just like a weird statue looking at us? It's a, <laughs> it's a homeless guy just walking around. He's, he's seen us. Sir? But he's a homeless guy. We Sir? need to talk. Please. Can we talk? I don't want any troubles. I'm just it's a fine. man passing by. I, I give him my 500 others. You give him 500 others? Yeah, because I have 500. And it's like. Okay. Are you sure about this kind kind bear? Yes, my good man. Take oh, those 500 out there. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are a salvation of my life. I can finally get back to be drunk again. And then I punch him and I take it back. <laughs> and then he pops up. <laughs> then I punch the bear. And that's my money. <laughs> I earned it. He's just hurting people for no know. reason. He that's saw no us. Sense. He saw us. Whatever. What is a homeless guy going to do? He's not going to do anything. <laughs> he's going to talk. Well, okay, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going, going to do one thing. Here. For sure, now he's going to do anything, right? So, <laughs> By the time he wakes up, we'll be long gone. You can tell I'm angry because I don't justify this kind of act. I loot him. At least, at least, no, no, no. At least leave him some money for punching him. Yeah. I there there is Doggy Ock no, is uh, find on the homeless guy. Doggy Ock is so pissed <laughs> about this that he, he gets close to uh, to the bear and uh, he pees on your knee and then he goes away. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I give him the money. Good boy. Half. I give him it, half. It, oh. He's already unconscious. Yeah. So you just leaving the money on his body? Nah, in his pocket, man. And then I move him inside the car. I break the car door and I put him inside the car. Okay. <laughs> and it's like no, the, no, no, he has a car, right? Okay. <laughs> a broken car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, it happens. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so as soon as you get close to the to the corner, you see that there is the entrance of the warehouse. It's kind of it's kind of dark, but uh, you notice that there is somebody moving inside. You don't see them though. So we hide this here. Way. Yeah, you notice yeah. that there is a person like uh, going up the stair, and another one like just sitting on the table eating some instant food. They are they are both not looking uh, where you are. They're both looking one this direction or in this direction. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we can so, go to the basement. Also, you or... notice that there is like a window over here. Mm. 
But you said there's someone in the basement, right? Yeah. yeah. This looks Can like I... uh, more or less the area where the little ship came down from the airplane. Mm. I need five more minutes to recharge because I can feel that I'm not fully pre I'm not fully ready. I just walk back a bit and I sit there for a moment. Okay, what you guys gonna do? Can we just check if there's someone else or at least to see who is in there? Well, the person is going up there and yeah. uh, you, you don't see it anymore. It's just like in the darkness. But the person over here is just enjoying his food in sadness. He has the same face of the meme said Keanu. Even though he's, he has an helmet, but you can feel it. So which way is the best? The window is kind of small. The bear cannot pass through it. Uh, Marcus, uh, Rio can do it. You also can do it in nano machine form. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There is also uh, there is also a vent to the ventilation system. Can I try by the vent as a, another machine? Oh yes, you can. I try then. All right. Give me stealth. Okay, I throw two, and I add two, so four. Okay, so you managed to enter inside uh, doing basically no noise, and you are in the ventilation system. So you can move around the entire place fast. Okay. Uh, any ventilation, like he's eating, he's eating, yeah, here, so all the time. Yeah, it's enjoying. Uh, which way I can attack her? You see him. that uh, uh, she went all year and uh, she just uh, sitting down watching television over here. So uh, the ventilation is literally behind her. Okay, so I would like to get up to the ventilation, take my reform, punch her. Okay. How <laughs> okay. much do you do? Mm -hmm. I did one. You go down from the ventilation, but before you reform, she notices you. And she she gets spooked. And she tries to attack you back. And she uh, tries to hit you with the rifle. Okay. You have to do more than three to avoid that. Five. Okay, you managed to avoid the attack. Now you can attack back if you want. Yeah, yeah, and I will try to like attack the. Okay, four. Okay, she did four, so we need to re-roll again. Okay, I did two. I did four again. Okay, so you managed to knock her down. Okay. Okay, now you are inside the facility, and you notice that there is like a way this. This way, that leads you to a more uh, internal area of this okay. place. Can I, so I tell it by the radio to the guys. Guys, can, if you can pin me, pinch me or see where I am. I am, I think, at the top of the building. Like top. Mm. Far, uh, first floor, I found a way. But be careful, there is still one guy eating. Uh, so he can see you, I think. I mean, we are three people. If we get him behind, I think he shouldn't have a chance. Can we just can we just attract his like you know his eyes with something, like make him turn or like you know get him to walk to the corner, and then we just like you know bink bonk. I mean, we can just go to him on the behind him and then bonk on on his head. You do that. Good, this one. I've trusted you. What are you going to do, Marcus? Yep. Yeah. I will put in my stealth suit. Okay. Which is a plus 10 on... Uh, not plus 10, sorry. It's a minus 10 on uh, SV, but I get... 
How much was it on stealth? Uh, let me double check on the manual. Manual showcasing, let's go. Manual uh, showcasing, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah. There you go, the beautiful manual. Let me make it a bit bigger. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Uh, it's not extending. Okay, I will extend it like this. Mm -hmm. So, that's so it. Uh, what is it? <laughs> we can remove it from the game, though. No, it's there. I see it. It's the third one. Ah, there it is, yeah. Field virus minus five, uh, plus two on stat rolls. I right, guess I changed this thing so many times that... Yeah, plus three on stealth rolls. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. I have okay. I have six plus one plus three, so ten. Okay. Okay. What I want. The guy to do doesn't. Is the guy there. doesn't uh, see you at all. There is no one around, right? So I'll just go up and take out my pistol and knock him out on his head with the pistol. Okay, you knock him out, and uh, his head like just falls on the ramen. It. Okay, then I call on radio. Guys, I got him. You can come. Okay. okay. Give me, give me awareness, Marcus. Awareness. Okay. Uh, six plus two, eight. Okay. You feel like that this place was inhabited by someone else before, and where it was in was kicked out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, the guys are coming to me? Okay. Okay, guys. Right. There's, while you're there, you see that there is like a corridor that brings one inside the area of this place. I'm screaming, I'm here! Just to, to make sure, I put off the stealth suit. Okay. So I have my, back my shield value. Okay, sounds cool. Okay, let's go upstairs, yeah? Yeah. I'm still here. Okay, before we go, I will... Um, is there any way I can put the body? Uh, ah, yes, well, there is like a, a small room over here where you could hide him. And okay. the person over there uh, could like, no hide him under the table or whatever. Okay, this guy is hidden in this behind the door. I Let's put her upstairs. Put it on the bed under the couch. Okay. He's going to sleep. And kiss the forehead. Oh. <laughs> and then squeeze the head. Oh. Okay, so you go through a dark corridor and you actually end up over here. Mm. Down there. Oops, wrong character. Where are we? <laughs> Who took me? Here. I'm sorry, I moved you by mistake. <laughs> Where's my oh, dog? Okay. I'm lost. Okay, okay. I found myself. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna uh, make you a little bit bigger because this map is has a different proportions. Okay, so you find yourself into the insides of this place. And this was like some kind of uh, chemical lab used to make drugs. <laughs> what you guys gonna do? Okay, are we completely alone in this lab? Yeah, in there's the, no in one the, around? In this room, yes. Okay. Then I would say problem. let's take a look around. Uh, you take a look around, and there is like a, a box here that can be opened, like some kind of like um, locker, like a, giant, a long locker, you know. Okay, I will go towards the locker. What you gotta do? Is it is it uh, locked or how can I open uh, it? It's it's unlocked. Okay. 
Um, is anyone good in uh, breaking locks? It's, it's breaking, open. I can break. You can, you, can oh, just, yeah. you can just open it if you want to say it. You don't need to. It's unlocked. Uh, uh, I understood that it's locked. Okay. Sorry. If it's unlocked, then I will open it, yeah. You try to open it, and then it, <laughs> you see that the sun, a body like comes down from it and uh, falls on you. Knocked out or not? Yeah, it's it's a guy that has been tied and uh, his uh, mouth has been uh, whipped. But is he conscious? He is unconscious. Okay. Uh, do we know this guy or is it just some random guy? It seems like uh, some kind of uh, criminal. He has uh, a lot of drugs on his face. Hmm. <laughs> yes, it's a reference. I got it. Um. Okay. So, okay, guys. So, what do you want to do with this guy? Should we put him back inside? Do we need him? Maybe you can tell us something about this place. Um. Yeah. Maybe he has something we can loot. If he has can something. I, can I analyze the drugs he used? So we can know what happened with him. Um, let's ask him what he, who it is first, maybe no. Because okay, first I, I mean I can wake him up. Let's see. Yeah, you can test wake any, him up first. Is there any water around, or can we just make him like uh, uh, his face? It? And he's like, I can be on his face if you want. Woof. Yeah. Mm. Cool. He can make me pieces oil, right? Yeah. Okay, so, well. <laughs> Doug Yo goes to him and pieces on his face and he starts waking up. What, what the fuck? What is going on? Good morning. Yeah, be happy that it was just oil and not... Rice or shine. Doggy. And then he wakes up and he's like... Oh. And he tries to talk, but he has like the mouth which is covered with the tape. So you need to take it out. Yeah, I will take it off. You take it off and it's like, ow! Could you have done it like, ah, oh, less art? Man! You see, hmm. it's like this. Hmm. Looks oh, fancy man. for a drug addict. <laughs> we are in mm -hmm. pulse, what did you expect? We are all rich. We just do it for fun. Hmm. Anyway, what the heck are you doing in my lab? And how the heck did I end up tied? I don't... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the guys with the... With the... With the suits and capes, the mercenary, did you kill them? Who? Uh, the, the guys, the, the was like, they were talking with a, a dude called uh, Ve, Vercelli, I don't know, what was his name? Yeah. They're okay, they're okay. Ah, yeah, wait, yeah. Wait. Why is that guy moving? Is he standing? Yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's on the fucking floor, man, before we destroy you, right? It's like... I mean, I only put off his, his, his mouth wrap, not the other... Uh... The other wraps that he had around his body. Yeah, but better that he stays on place. You know, don't let him walk mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. If there, if there are weapons in the room, maybe, he, maybe he he should sit down so he can like focus uh, on what he have to say and not moving around. Uh let's let's do it this way. I I am uh, I understand that you are quite concerned about my position here. So, this is my lab, and I'm rich, and I don't give a shit about this place. So, after you leave, I'm just gonna take some can of gas, and I'm gonna burn everything. But, I will leave you some time to do whatever you need to do. And before, why don't you take my secret stash of stuff, eh? Could be a good trade for letting me go? I mean, we will take your shit for sure. <laughs> but, I'm not sure we will let you go. What can you tell us about this place? It's just my drug then, man. What else do you need to know? How do we get out of here? 
Well, from where did you get in? There is no other way. Uh, no other exit? I mean, if you go that way, in the gates like this way, there is a secret door that leads you to the insides. And there, there is like uh, one of the bar and it's like a place, but it should be abandoned. I don't think there's somebody there unless you want to hide a guy. I don't know. Okay. What, what's your position in this like, you no know, drug empire area thingy? Are you like a high, high held person or? Dude, I own this place. What do you mean? What's this position? That's this even nice better. Uh huh. So, and and I activate voice for producer and skin. Uh, wait, what was the word again? And reflective skin together to look like him and sound like him. Oh, can you teach me how to do that? Sure. Look, and I punch him in the face. Hey, wait. We should ask. We should ask for the name. Oh, fuck. yeah. It, it could be easier to to like pretend to be him, then. No, you have to make him wake up again and then knock him out again. Great. Uh, uh, dog, peace again. I mean, I'm the boss. I mean, he's the boss, right? So it's like I can just pretend that I'm all ma all and mighty. Mm. Yeah. If they call you and you and you don't turn back. He probably has some wallet or something. I check his pocket and check if he has a wallet with, like, you know, maybe a car with his name or something. This roll more than four. Okay. Six. Oh, why do why does he always win? <laughs> yes, the bear night. The bear night. Okay. So what did what what did you do exactly with me? I checked his pocket to see if there was like a wallet with his like with a card to find like uh, his name or something. No, it doesn't have anything. It just has like a very expensive watch. Well, six? Really? Nothing? Oh, I'll take the fucking watch, man. Of course. So <laughs> take the watch. The watch is worth uh, uh, six hundred dollars. That's good. I'll probably use it again for something that is not meant to be used for, but you know, uh, watch 600. Right. And then the guy is, uh, is in the ground unconscious. So, what you gonna do? I'm going to the secret door. All right, give me awareness, Ladros. Uh, wait, oh yeah, but I make one now. Plus uh, one, two. So. Okay, you notice that there is definitely something behind this wall. Like uh, a button that can be pushed, but you cannot quite see the button yet. Did I need to see the button? I mean, if like, you... can I just push the wall? Try to yeah, you break can... the wall? Yeah, you can try, yeah. Yeah. As soon as you try to push the wall, you realize that it's quite weak. So you can literally just push through it and open it up. Okay, that's what I'm doing. All right, push through it and open it up. Cool. So you unlock this area over here. Hopla, it's open. And this place uh, is uh, abandoned. Doesn't seem to be anything relevant there. Just uh, so old junks, uh, like some recipes on how to make drugs. There's a picture of the guy you just knocked down. Is there his name? No. <laughs> no name. It's fine. Mm. He was my body. You might want to try to find like a, a way out, actually. You see, that, uh, you see that there's Probably. like some kind of fence here. And on the other side, you see that there is like uh, a box closed on the other on the other side but you don't see a specific entrance to that room can I just go through yeah that's what i was thinking can i just run the machine myself and yes you can so i need to roll or can pass well, you can just pass through with the nano by turning into nano machines all right you go in and you notice that there is actually two boxes hiding things one is larger Okay. What are you gonna do? They are they are unlocked. 
I liked both. And yeah. I just try to awareness just to see if there are not like uh, there any um, oh, pierge. Traps. Traps, thanks. You have to give me awareness first. Okay. okay. I will try on the... Okay. Golden four. Did you... S ah, and now I roll? Oh, six. did you see? Yes, yes. Sorry. Yeah. You did six. Cool. So, yeah, you notice that the, they are connected to some, some kind of security system. And there is okay. some wires behind it. And if you were to touch them, the security system would activate. And you notice that the security system consists in two, two turrets like being on the roof. Okay, so I need to destroy the target on the roof to get to the... Yes, you okay. can oh. either destroy them or disable them. Uh, I turn back and uh, bear can they're trapped. We can make an arrangement. I can give you some of I can find in and you disable the the trap. Well, deal. I could, but yeah, I guess. I think I it's guess. the best way. But I cannot uh, reach there. Can I? Can I have? Can I have? Do you have access to to? Did did uh, did you need to? Did you need to be close to hack it? Depends on the on the position, I guess, and you know, and the type of like hacking uh, hacking it needs, right? Can I try to destroy the fence to make like we both together destroy the fence so we can pass it through? I think we are both strong, so we can try that. I uh, might be able to actually. Okay, so please roll to do that. Three. Five. Yeah, okay, ten. Okay, so... You just broke out of the wall, basically. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm rolling for trying to act. Four. Plus, I don't remember how much. I did eight. Plus five. I did nine. Okay, you win. Again. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Um, you unlock the system. So I open the, the big chest. You find a rocket launcher inside. And four, okay, you... four missiles. Okay. Okay. And in the little one, then? In the little one, there is a, a sniper rifle, uh, yeah. which is next of extreme quality and has like um, a silencer too. Okay, I will. Get that. I will. <laughs> I knew. I, will, I knew. I will, that. I will take off the launcher of your of your hands. You can take this watch, and I give you the, the watch I took from the other guy. Which is no, I, don't, uh, I don't. Can can I be able to? No. Uh, at least we, we will do like that. Uh, I give you the sniper and the rocket launcher, the two you want, guys. But then when I want something, you need to do it for me. Okay. But I'm thinking. Rocket launcher has been my my dream since I'm a little bear, so I guess it's fair. I take okay. it. So you both owe me one. Yeah. We cool. Okay. 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 Uh, the rocket launcher is a regular rocket launcher. Uh, with uh, four shots that you can uh, carry around. Sniper rifle is uh, an advanced type sniper rifle. Uh, it won't give bonus and chance to hit during normal combat, but if you are stealth, uh, you will have plus three on uh, chance to hit. Okay, so Just, uh, if I'm in stealth. Yeah, not that down because I'm gonna forget after this session. Yeah, I'm noting up. <laughs> And um, you said uh, if I'm stealth, plus three chance to hit. And yes, others? only only if you are stealth. If you are yeah. normal in combat and the enemy sees you, the stealth the, the bonus doesn't apply. Okay. And uh, you have the silencer included. Uh, okay. Noted. <laughs> Okay. 
Marcus Awareness. Awareness. Six you plus two, uh, eight. You notice that there is like a PC over there. A PC? Yeah. Is it turned on? Yeah, it's a laptop. Okay. I will go towards it to check it out. And you see that there is like a lot of exchange information from this guy. And uh, do you see that uh, the PC has been hacked though? And there is like a camera pointing out of a, on a dark room. And there there is a Volo being held hostage. Mm -hmm. Can I see from this computer where this room is, where he's held? Uh, it seems like uh, that it's around this place. And, but you cannot quite identify the place yet. Okay. By looking at the directions of the camera, you see that maybe from this area over here, you might be able to reach that room. Okay. Guys, I found some... some uh, you also uh, noticed that there is like uh, some guys inside that room, and one yeah. of them is uh, pointing uh, Volos head with a rifle. Okay, yeah. Okay, guys, I found a computer which shows us some video footage of Vol. I think we are not that far away. You want to check it out? Is it like live? Um, <laughs> it's difficult it's to not. tell. It's difficult to tell from there. The quality of the video is quite low. If you maybe maybe you want computer. to yeah maybe you want to hack the computer and check. Even I'm checking. Even you know yeah. that even if you did, you cannot enhance the quality of the camera. It's quite an old type. It's just an old camera. Okay. Do we have an access to, like, is the, is it just a camera, or do we have an access to talk to the room and hear no, back? It, it is just uh, an old security camera. It's uh, kind of black and white, basically. Yeah. And the quality is super much low. Do, you have access to everything that is in the camera system. It doesn't even need to be hacked because it has already been hacked by someone okay. else. Okay. Well, we already have the layout of the map, like fully, right? So, but I'm checking. Yeah. I'm you checking notice, if there is... there's a there's a uh -huh. camera that is pointing towards you right now, and there's like a camera over here that leads to this way, uh -huh. and then there's like a dark uh, eye over here, which okay. leads to this kind of dark place, but you cannot quite see what's in there because it's uh, there is rubbish that is blocking the way. Well, I guess we just have to move on. Is it like a laptop or is it a... Yeah, it's a laptop. Uh, we might want to take it with us just in case. Okay. Like, like, yeah, it's trying uh, to find from uh, where yeah. it's coming. I mean, no, because it, there is not enough like information that we can we can gather from what we see. What we can do is take the take the laptop with us and see if if see if it's like you know. Yeah, but if something happens, then it might, we, we might notice that it's live and we might be able to, you know... Like... Yeah, yeah, but now to just take us, to give us just a, a direction where to go now. I mean, I'm checking the cameras to try to check this area then and try to see if there is any door like somewhere that's something we can like enter from there. Yeah, there is a there is a door here that leads you to uh, some kind of bar that sits inside the some kind of uh, own bar. Okay. Okay, we have two directions we can go. There's a dark alley, and there's like a door on the other side of this you know area that we can try to go. We. We might want to try both, but like the alley seems to be blocked. I'm not sure we can go there. So let's just go over and have a look, I guess. I can see. I think if the, we can go by the bar, let's go by the bar. Okay. How do we... All right. Can we jump? No, there is like a passage over here. Ah, oh, okay. We'll just to the passage and then you see... I added the new map. We'll go on the bottom of the new map. This is what you see. By arriving there. Ah, okay. Okay, and there are stairs there. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is a this is a dead end, right? Uh, there is uh, there is some rubble, but uh, you have the strength to move it if you want. Ah. Uh, might be worth it, just in case. 
or not i'm not sure guys do you want do we want to just move on the right off or do you want to go check what's in there i mean volo was kept in a dark area and this you know this seems to be dark enough maybe if you're lucky i mean which makes no sense actually but you know okay, let's go we go yeah okay. Let's we're see. moving the we're moving the okay, rubble. You move the rubble. It takes you about five minutes because there is so much rubble, and then uh, you reach uh, the second area over here. Inside there is a box. Okay. Open it. Okay, you open it up, and uh, you get a little buzz from it, as if uh, the oh. the box is trying to hack your shields. My Thinking. shields, me. Tinkering more than ten. Shit, six. All right, you get hacked, and uh, your shield is temporarily lowered by half because uh, you trigger the trap on the box. Oh, however, bad. however, you manage to um, open the box, so you can mm -hmm. see what's inside. Now what's inside? There is like uh, some uh, special speci special tool for hacking. Oh, uh, very funny. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will give them to Rio because I'm getting a bit full with all the stuff I okay. have, and and because I've been hacked, I might not be like as efficient right now. So okay. Just in case. The tool gives you an immunity to getting hacked once, and then it breaks. Yeah. I had to get hacked to get like an immunity to hack. Yeah, it's uh, it's like uh, possibly active to you. Okay. Um, and there, is, it's a dead end then. Yes, there is a, it's just a dead end. After the box, there is nothing else. Okay, yeah, guys, I, I walk, but like with difficulty because... I am so happy. Let me, let me go out a second, because this is the first time you're finally exploring one map, so you can find the loot I'm giving to you. You never find the loot I leave to you. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <That's> so happy. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so, so we arrive uh, here. You're, you're gonna go to the open bar, you're gonna explore more if you want. Yeah, yeah let's go. Cool. <laughs> yeah, do we need to move on? Someone wants to, someone wants to check something before we move on? If you guys want to check, silence equal no. So we move on. Let's go on, yeah. Okay, so where's the, where's the map? It's a blurred, shouldn't it be blurred? Uh, it's not here. On my side, it's not. Wait, let me, ah, and now it's gone. Let me yeah. add it again. Okay, should be fine now. Could oh. you re-add my character? I think I accidentally clicked on the I did remove it again. button. Oh no, Marcus is dead. Uh, new character <laughs> from the next session. <laughs> Yeah, we might want Thanks. to be bigger. Those chairs are you. Yeah, you, you can actually. Oh, damn it. Don't <laughs> you can leave me this big. <laughs> All right. But okay. You you okay. find uh, these. Um, why is the bird so big? But it's, uh, I know it's right. It uh, should be that big. Oh, yeah. Oh, that big. Too big. That's too big. Yeah, a little bit too big. Okay, what is uh, missing real? Mini Rio. Okay, so, guys. Okay, you are all there. You can all see the map. We're good. Are we good? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Marcus, you find that there is in the shelf there is a, a very rare and expensive liquor. Yeah, I put it in my pockets, obviously. <laughs> It's quite small, so you can uh, easily take it. Nice. All right, this place seems abandoned again. There's no one. Yeah. Am I going to be dressed like that clone for a long time? I thought it would be useful, and you know, 
I'm showing like I'm opening my arms to show like that I'm still dressed like you're the dude we knocked off. Ah, anyway. Uh huh. Doesn't seem like there's much in here. Should we go up? Uh, can I not in this room, but. If possible, can I look for some information related to my brother? I don't know if there would be some here, but if yes. possible. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, is there a, something in this? Give me, give me awareness. Uh, three plus four. Now that you look better, you see that there is like some uh, uh, signs being left by him. Uh, of like uh, small drawings, like of uh, a face crying uh, red tears, like with uh, with red pastel, and they are all. Uh, if now that you start connecting the dot, they were like drawn a little bit all over the place, almost as if it's wanna um, signify that is uh, always looking at you, and is owning you right now. That's fucked up. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I just. Keep that in mind for other times. Sorry? I'll just keep that in mind for the future in case I see that mark somewhere that might okay. be useful. Okay. Okay, cool. So, yeah. In this, in this room over there, there is nothing but there is stair that uh, leads you upwards. Okay. You notice that uh, in this room there is nothing else aside from uh, empty bottles. Some of them have been shot by gunfire, and there is like a, a wooden door here that would lead you to the other room. And from the other side, you see that there is like a small uh, hole in the glass, and then you can see uh, Volo being taken hostage. Oh, he's in that room? Yeah, he's in that okay. room, like, uh, uh, he's sitting on a table. But uh, uh, turned on the other side and is not moving. And then there is like uh, uh, one of the guards from Verkiel, like uh, pointing a, a rifle at him. Can can we see if there's if there are more people in there than the, just the two the two of them? No, it's just this dude. Okay. Well, guys, I think it's time to use my disguise, right? Mm. I mean, I hope this dude is really not and it's just fucking nobody, right? So. All right, wish me luck. I open the door. I will make myself a bit smaller you, because... You enter the room and the guy is like, don't move. You should be tied up. I knew that I should have killed you. Where is the other guys? I was uh, told to shoot this person like as soon as somebody can come in, but you are not them. So I guess I'm gonna shoot you first, and then like resume my duty. After all, Verkel wants the other to see this guy dead before uh. after they enter this room. This is why I'm here. <laughs> it's just a fucking nobody. Okay, yeah, he looks like. Ah, right? uh, okay. This this guy is fucking useless. So I remove it. I turn into a bear, and I point my rocket launcher at him. And I'm like, now you have five seconds to fucking move. Oh my, oh no, uh, and he rise up his hands like, if you kill me, you're gonna kill your precious friend too. Are you it's willing to friend. risk? How, how do you even know that I'm here for him? I, I don't know this guy. I'm just here to loot the place. Now fuck mm -hmm. off or I both send you like to, the, to your, send, to and, your and maker. He points like uh, his gun at him and he's like, bullshit, I saw the report. You're one of his friends, don't lie to me. You guys gonna do something in the meantime? You see that there is like some small holes in uh, in the wood over here. Like a, a rifle could pass through. I can try to hit him. If you want to shoot but, him with a sniper, yeah, they have enough space, yes. But at the same time, I don't really think I would do it because I would understand the... Because they are under the influence of my brother, so I don't think my character would take action against them so okay so sorry guys so uh, is, is are you guys no doing something else? do you have uh, you notice that there is enough space to pass through as a nanomachine 
And Marcus, also you see like uh, enough uh, space to potentially shoot, but you have to get like, closer with the pistol. I'm talking, I'm talking in the radio, like like low, and with a low voice, like I need help here. The guy, the guy my, says my, to get impatient. Huh? Is it possible to to hold the hand through it? To to hold what? Yeah, I mean, I can, I could point my pistol. Through it, but can I put my hand as well through it, through the hole? Uh, not really, but you can just you know take the pistol and uh, touch the a little small area where you could just you know have like uh, some kind of ground. Yeah, the thing is, what I would like to do is throw like a, a ball or something in that area. It's uh, it's too small to throw a magic ball. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm basically not able to do anything there. What I mean, so the pistol is. <laughs> yeah, I mean the pistol is too far away. <laughs> Just, yeah. Is he? It's too far, really? <laughs> he said it's too far away. Jesus fuck, man. Okay, should I take the risk? What about that? That to knock him unconscious or give more time? Uh, Bear, give me awareness. Okay. The guy's or... not. The guy's not lying. He's gonna shoot Volo. I mean, I'm not lying either, I go shoot them, right? So it's like... <laughs> okay. Okay. I want to do something. Can I roll first and then decide based on how bad it is? I will, I will do the action. I will shoot with the rocket launcher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Like nobody is saying no. So. Uh, if it's a six, it's fine, guys. Okay, just so you guys know. I just said that I can use the dart thrower. Okay, so uh, Volo, Volo, I don't know why. Volo cannot what avoid else? it. Volo cannot avoid it because it's tied up. The guy does four. So if you do more than four, less than four, the guy is gonna avoid it. I mean, if he avoids that, this he will see. I'm serious. If if I touch him, I want. Have you seen? Have you seen Kikas? Okay, I want, yes. I want to go that way, okay? It's five. Let's fucking go. <laughs> so, des describe me. Describe me how it's gonna work. So I'm like, oh, you take it that way? Sure, man. And I shoot at him. And like, I shoot and the rocket goes through him. When you touch him, it, you know, it takes it, it takes the guy with him to the end of the room and it explodes here in the corner. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna allow it by the rule of cinema. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, physics don't exist in MOP. This is how it works now, it's, uh, it's canon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, physics, um, man. Okay, so Volo is still tied up, and it seems like it is unconscious, he's not reacting. Are you guys gonna go close to him, or are you gonna stay there? Maybe we can check if the room is not like trapped too. Again, one guy for Volley. The surroundings no, no, of the room look fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait a second, Marcus, uh, Rio, what are you gonna mm -hmm. do? You're gonna go inside. Or you're gonna stay there. I'm going inside. I will stay. Okay. Okay. Are we going closer then, yeah? Alright, so as you get it's closer, okay. you also get smaller. <laughs> yeah. yes. Imagine you are getting smaller, okay? Yes. And as soon as you get very, very... Oh, Barry, you're also going to go to... Barry? Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, so... You're gonna go to so as soon as you get closer, all three of you give me awareness. Oh, am I glitchy? Six. Eight, two, uh, chip chip. I have four plus, I think I have one. Yeah, you start Five. noticing that something is off on him. He looks weird. I mean, he, he, always, he always looked fucking weird, but that weird. You mean maybe it's not him? 
I mean, just shake him off, right? Maybe when he awakes, he will tell us. You know, you shake yeah. him off. You shake him off? Yeah. You shake him off and his head falls down. Okay. What? what? Is it, is it, I mean, is it human or is it, uh, is it like in a trap, like something else? Yeah, it is, that is, a, is a puppet in his head, like, as like, it's, it's kind of a, a doll replica of him. And his eyes are turning red. And before you can react, his body explodes. And from his body, there is a lot uh, of syringes and bullets that start to spread out through the entire room. Guys, okay. Can we try to dodge? Difficulty five. Oh Rio, <laughs> Rio is immune because it's not there. Okay. I don't dodge. I use magic shield. I did three, so shit. You use the magic shield, I so you three too. Yeah, I don't want to jump. I use a magic shield. Is it enough to protect all of us, or you just protect yourself? Uh, is it enough to protect the bear as well? I mean, the red rails is probably too far away. Yeah, that's great. All right, so yeah. so you you all of you didn't dodge them. Okay. Perfect. How much damage does it? So I mean, the the shield, the magic shield does ten shield value. So let's so see. So you you use the magic shield, and the magic shield manages to uh, parry the bullets from touching your body. However, the rest of the things uh, touch uh, Redreus and the bird body. And inside of you, self within, you start feeling uh, um, strange. As, as something is taking over you. Okay. And uh, I try to... you, you feel like you're almost losing consciousness and you're having like issues standing still. Both of you. Mm. Uh... I mean, how, how fast does this happen? Are we able to do things like you, walking away from it? You have a few seconds before something happens. Okay, I would suggest to to run away from the I'm trying to I flip the table yeah. there and I and I and I fall on the floor behind it. And there is a there is like some kind of some speaker that starts sounding and it's very clear guys like ah ah Okay I jump it's too late the... to run yeah. you belong to me now bad Marcus Steele and Rio will have to die You can. Uh, what, you want to say something? I mean, um, I'm half drugged, so I'm not really Marcus. <laughs> the same. <laughs> it's like it's just too easy dragging you into my traps. What is it? You're just trying to be on my side since the very beginning. That's touching, but now you lost. How does it feel, oh. Rio? Seeing your friends being turned into my puppets. You gonna say something, Rio? Rio is speechless. No, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, um, Marcus, is it possible to to do something still, or now you see that the bear and the redreus are both starting to have like some kind of red aura around them, like they are being corrupted. Okay. And uh, uh, the trails. In your head, uh, you have like uh, um, hammering, like words on, on your head. It's like avoid, 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 avoid. And then slowly starts to turn into kill, 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 kill. Okay. And then you see Marcus. And I try... Yeah. And uh, all you want is try to kill him. Can I try just before I try to kill him? to spread myself again in the machine just to try to erase maybe the poison will not follow me in that form yeah but uh, as soon as you do it you notice that the the virus uh, that you just received is spreading through your nano machines as well uh, it's uh, uh, it's resonating with the magic that you got inside the temple this is what is causing this okay 
Can I try to resist before I attack him? Yes, you are. You you can try to resist, but right now uh, your main thought is that you want to kill Marcus. Okay. Because he's the first can person I... in front of you, and the bear. Can, same. I... can I react something? Yes. I will try to use magic possession to to make him stop attacking. Put a dress. Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. Uh, okay. Both of you, please roll. Okay. Mm. What I, have, shit. I have a two. Is it getting? Are we getting extra for spell casting, or is it not counting? No, no, it's not counting. Just uh, chance to eat is uh, not being improved okay. unless two. there's a condition. So two against. How much do you do, drills? Three. Three. Okay. Uh, it assists your magic possession. And now the pair is starting to rise as well. So I'm trying to resist to whatever is happening. I'm okay. Prepared. Please uh, uh, roll against uh, four plus three, so seven. Nice. Yeah, I did two, so fuck it. Okay, you don't uh, you don't manage to resist. You are succumbing to your own instincts, and you want to kill Marcus with all the things that you have. All right, well, please uh, roll initiative. Uh, Redreus and Bear and Rio and Marcus. One of one uh, representative of your group. So one for Bear Redreus and one for Rio and Marcus. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, we all rolled similar, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't you know rolled. if we rolled, but I rolled a three. Okay. Yeah, we rolled. I rolled a three I, as well, so. I rolled a two, so. Give another roll, Rejoice. Three. Yeah, <laughs> Mark, Mark. Six. Okay. Eight. Okay, so Marcus, okay. Asks, Mar Marcus, uh, Mar Marcus and Rio team marks first. So you have uh, to act before them. You're an initiative. You're going against each other. You have to take us down. Okay. Uh, Rio, are you, you... You're staying behind the wall, I guess, yeah? You can yeah, try I can to shoot, too. shoot through the hole. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you you um, concentrate on red rails while I try to fight off the bear. Is the bird getting sm oh, okay? <laughs> it's just yeah. We we are too we are too big, right? So yep. okay. I mean, the the easiest way to do anything here is magic possession. I will have to try this again. I mean, I'm trying to. Can I try to resist just to talk, or can I just talk? Yeah, you can talk, but uh, you you what you say it's not uh, what you want. Your body oh. is just moving on its own, but you can try to spell some words, yes, with by, by a lot of fatigue, just because you are not completely possessed by the virus yet. Is uh, Eli still inside him? Yes, and uh, she's unconscious. Okay. Take. Okay. Take, well, there. I can't. Take I, us down. Take us down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to find, so I'm trying to. To possess you to stop, like I'm trying to do that. Well, you can't beat me anyway, so you're not getting any anything extra in tinkering. So I'm trying to possess you. Fair. Do I try to resist? The answer is yes. Yeah, you have to roll. One. Ah, oh, that's good. I have four. Mantel position is going on. Okay, can I uh, command him to do something or anything? I would uh, like to. You can try to force him to stay still, but the okay. virus is still within him. Then, then let's do that. That's that's better than nothing. Okay. And then, as you do that, the, from the noise, there is like, uh, uh, oh, I'm having so much fun right now. Look at them, how they kill to each other. Hey, Rio. Uh, sorry, Rio. Look at them. They look so funny down there. Well, let me bring Volo. Volo, what is Volo? Volo, come here. 
untie him. No, no, actually, no, let, let keep him tied. Look at him, look at them. Isn't that funny? And then he likes some noises from Volo trying to play himself. Oh, this is so funny. Where's my popcorn? Oh, yeah, also bring me my clips flops as well. I want to I wanna enjoy this. <laughs> All right. So, Marcus, you already did your actions, all of them? Or five? No, that was one action, actually. Okay, you have four more okay. actions. I would have four actions. Okay, um... Yeah, let me, like... Yeah, um... Let me... I'll use my pistol in non-lethal modes to attack the bear. I mean, yeah. Um, I have four left, so I will try to do three of them. Okay. Three shots. Three shots? I threw a... How much damage yeah, three do you shots. I put them on non-lethal, just so you know. So you know. <laughs> but I do a uh, damage of... Uh, let me see. Six. Remember that I'm, I'm half shield value also because I got bugged. So, I don't have that much to take down. Yes, you have shield value. So, you're shooting with a pistol plus how much the die do you have? What do you mean? That oh. I, yeah, I already, I already counted that, I think, because so, it's like one. The pistol does one damage and I have plus five for that eye, so, so six it's, damage. Uh, so, it's uh, six per shot. So, you shot three times. So, you yes, did eight damage. Six. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, anyway, he can't, he can't dodge it, right? Because he is standing still. Yeah. He is act, yes, so you cannot dodge. So it's okay. three, three, time, three times six? Yes, yes. you receive 18 damage. No I damage. take, my, my, my shield is done and I have like six points of life left. Okay. Um, You're a droid, you don't have uh, physical value. I do, because I was partially, partially still, you know, Fleshy, fleshy bear, partially. I had like 30 second. shield value and... Oh no, wait, no, I don't. No, I'm yeah, no, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. No, I'm, 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 mixing, I'm mixing generation because I put a heart next to it. No, yeah. I, never mind, I'm fucking down. Yeah, you're down. I'm fucking yes. down. I'm you, fucking have, down. you have a 30 shield value, so half of it. Yeah, so you're down. <laughs> what okay, is of me? Don't worry, it used the non-lethal shot, so, yeah, so, yeah, he's, right. so you shouldn't be dead. Okay. And then with my last uh, action, I will try to possess a Redraos again. Yeah, I didn't expect you to knock him down in one. <laughs> but yeah, that yeah, was the half HP thing. Yeah, yes. I was just lucky with with uh, with getting the possession in the first one. Okay, I cannot take him. I have only a three, so okay. it must be real to take him down. Uh, you use your, your action? Yes. Okay, so bear is down, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I want to do my move of fusion with my dog. And okay. use a katana on the um, on the um, radio, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you, you fuse. Okay, <laughs> you, do the, you do the bark guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you fuse and then you uh, call your katana. You are fused yeah. now. So you need the one action to move there. So you have two more, three more actions. Okay, so I'm just gonna attack him to see if, if it okay. does something. The katana uses two actions to attack, so you can, uh, you can attack okay. him only once and then you have one action left. Yeah, sure. I'll attack once. Okay, so uh, please roll and retrieve us as well. Four. One. Okay, you hit nice. him. <laughs> so, and yeah, I hit him. You do him uh, six damage. Uh, how much damage it was? Because it was custom, right? Do you remember? Uh, I don't. Sorry. Okay, so you do six damage. Okay. Eight. 
Okay. Um, so Retro, you, uh, get, you get slashed. And then you see that once you slash him, his nanomachines are like kind of opening up a little bit inside his chest. Okay. Can I just try to open the chest with my uh, hands? Bare hands? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Should I roll or? Yes, it's like you have to roll. You against this roll. Three. Three? Adrenals, how much do you do? Two. Oh, Let's do this. You, you manage to chest. open up part of his chest and you're exposing something inside him which is like some kind of red mana, something that you never saw inside the... It should be it should belong only to droids, not to Argent. Okay. Because it, it almost looks like a core, but it's not really technologically attached, so it's just mana inside of him. Yeah, so I already know that this is from Berkel and it's similar to the Viber we saw in the city. Alright, but you know that uh, if you if you touch it though, you might get corrupted, it's dangerous. Yeah, so I'm not touching it. <laughs> okay. I don't have any actions left anyway. No, Adreus, it's your turn. Rio is opening up your chest. What you're gonna do? You have five actions. I'm catching with my hands his shoulders and getting a hit with my head on his head. Okay. Please uh, roll, Rio and Redreus. Oh! Whoa. Four! <laughs> All right, you you don't, you manage to not attack him, and but as soon as you do it, inside your head you hear a voice. Come on, the skin out of him. You can do it. It is time to unleash your viciousness. And I'm, I'm trying to to not listen it, like to repulse it. And um, I'm saying no, not this time. And it's like, yes, yes, this time. And you feel that the voice is uh, stronger and uh, you want to do what the voice says. You want to rip off uh, Rio's skin in two. Okay, so and I'm getting him a, a, a kick. Can I kick him before I lost control? You, you try to. Okay. Uh, you have to fight against me. So if you do, no, yeah, you have to do either six and then we roll or... Uh, one. No, you cannot fight. You cannot fight the um, the boys in your head. And uh, instead of doing the kick, you summon your katana. <laughs> and now, now, I know you want uh, to eat Rio three times with the katana. Uh, did I? Manage to oh okay so I have to beat you three times yes now you have to beat me once five okay, I win okay. you wanted to attack Rio with your magic katana sorry Rio it's okay okay so, so uh, you you have to roll and mm -hmm. and Rio has to roll too to see if he avoids it. I don't think so. Five. Two. Okay, so you get it for the first time. Second it. Both roll again. Three. Two. Okay, Rio get it twice. Third it. One. One. Three. Okay, yes! so Rio gets it twice. This is a special katana, it uses only one action. Uh, you receive 12 damage. Okay, now it's uh, Rio and Marcus turn. Who's gonna act first? Um, Let can me... I, can I, since I'm a bit hurt? <laughs> sure, but I would try to uh, use possession on him, but I think it doesn't matter because if you if you attack first and I get after him, he will be able to add attack after us anyway. Okay. So, so you can wait. No, no, it's fine. I can wait. 
No, no, like it's a good idea. You can try if you want. Uh, well, in any case, let me try. Okay, then. I will use uh, magic possession, but I will try it twice because the first time it didn't work. I have only one. Okay, four. Red rails, you have to. Roll. Yeah, there was have to roll cool. more than four. I did four. Okay, you have uh, to roll again. Uh, it's a two. Okay, it's a six. six. It's okay. a six. The drills resist. Okay. How many actions did you use? Three? Mm, there was two actions. Because okay. the first time didn't work anyway. Because there it was weird. Okay. Um, then let me see. What can I do? Uh, is his chest still open? That chest? Yeah. What chest? I mean... Ah, the drill right chest. Up. Yeah, that's, it's still kind of still reforming. So you have some time to do something. Okay, I still have three actions. So I will try to shoot twice into his chest. Okay. I have a six. And then shoot again. Again, four. okay, you have to do more than six and more than four. Please roll twice. Oh. Okay, first it's second, does it? it. Okay, you only once. six damage. So, uh, you shoot him on the chest, yep. and as you shoot him on the chest, the drills you receive like three times the damage you would have normally received. So you receive 18 damage. Okay. Still standing. How, how much do you have? Uh, 11 all? physical value. I don't have shield value, and I'm 11 on physical value. Okay. okay. You have, uh, yes, you have 20 shield value and 15 physical yeah. value. Yeah. So it will uh, be 11 still. So you got it by, you got it by Rio before, right? Uh, how yeah, much damage do you receive? Six. six. Six plus uh, eighteen plus now. Eighteen. I don't know how to make calculations. <laughs> Six plus eighteen. Twenty-four. 24. Yes. So. Still standing. Or not? You are still standing with uh, eleven. Eleven physical value. Yeah. Okay. In that case, I will try to make it um, because I I think that Ryu can maybe take down the eleven. I will try to use possession again. Maybe it works this time. Uh, uh, Redreus is awakened. You have minus two on the roll. Okay. One. Okay. Perfect. Anyway. I have a two. Okay. He's standing still, Ryu. Okay. Remember now... that. Uh, remember that if you kill him, you kill him. Sorry. If you go little on him, you're gonna kill him. Mm. So if we kill, we kill. <laughs> yeah. Um. I could. I could basically uh, resurrect him if you do that. Okay. Uh. I think since I can't touch his core. Because it's dangerous, I'm gonna try to take it off. You can with uh, a grappling hook. Yeah. Uh, remember that you you don't have to do rolls for hitting because he's standing still. Yeah, I know. But I don't think I can do anything else. I mean, so, you have a you have a sniper, right? You can. But move I'm away. super close. You can move away a bit and then shoot. But why can't I do what I said? <laughs> Yeah. I thought I thought you said you cannot do anything about them that well. I got. I mean, no, if I you can do anything, I just said that maybe taking away the core, the mana, the red mana, maybe yeah. we don't have to kill him. Oh yeah. 
you can try the idea. And if not, I will shoot him. And you can resurrect him. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So I want to go a bit further in case it doesn't work. <laughs> And I'm going to shoot the grappling hook at the open chest. And okay. try to, to you shoot him grab. and you see that the energy, uh, you grab something and then the energy, it, it happens by the of cinema, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it starts to be pulled out outside and you are pulling out something. Uh huh. So I keep pulling and pulling till I have it out. And Andrea, so you're feeling like a lot of pain, and as if something is taking, being taken away from your chest. I'm screaming as hell. And as you pull something, you see that this uh, something is starting to take the shape of a blade. The thing they're taking away from me? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to grab it then. Mm -hmm. Like, see what happened. You grab it and you feel like that as he's starting to take off his chest, you're starting to get uh, control over this weapon. And it's like uh, a very, very, very large type of uh, uh, katana. Pulling out? Yes, it's pulling out. And then, okay, uh, I'm pulling it out. After all, you pull it out and then uh, you are no longer possessed. But in your hands, uh, you have like uh, an enhanced katana. Okay. I'm looking at Marcus and Rio and are you alright, guys? Yeah, I mean, Barely. the bear is, is a bit down and yeah. Rio is hurt, but we're, we are still alive. Okay, okay. And then the, the katana is, has the same voice as a demon talking with you. And it was just like, finally. You have taken away my full potential. You use me wisely. And then you see that the katana is not disappearing anymore. It's actually outside in this world. You generated it somehow. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, uh, this katana uses the same rule of the other katana. So in order to attack with it, you need to use two actions. But you don't need to use okay. the required uh, stats to use it. Okay. Okay. I guess we are outside of combat now, right? Yes, you're outside of combat, and the bear can start to take consciousness back again. And uh, from outside, there is like Samir, which is contacting you. Yes, hello. Mission accomplished? Well, we haven't found Volo. What? What happened? Well, th that was like a, uh, how do you say this, like, like a puppet that looked like Volo, and we thought it was him, we couldn't make out a difference, and it was a trap. What? A yeah. trap? Okay, I I am coming there, we're gonna grab you up, and then we will, and then you hear like, there is like some gunshots, boom, 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 coming uh, around there, just like, shit, I'll call you back. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Samir, uh, Samir remained uh, where you landed last time with Serenay. So probably the gunshot is happening around there. Uh, well, I'm still. What's ha what happened? Oh, Jesus Christ. My head hurts. Uh... Marcus. Did you, Did you shoot me? Yeah, well, you tried to attack me, so I had to do something. Uh, my head. Just know that, I mean, now you know that next time you try to attack me, you you end like knocked out again. In your dream, yeah. I mean, you saw it, right? You just woke up. Whatever. What are we doing? Where is Volo? Volo? We killed him! I saw him! I, I saw his head fall on the floor! I swear I didn't touch him! It's not me! I didn't touch him! I didn't kill him! I swear! I want him dead! I mean, sometimes, but I didn't touch him! Open your eyes, man! That was just the puppet! All on the tape! What? <laughs> what do you mean, the puppet? 
I mean, I know he's a puppet. I mean, look how he's talking usually and stuff. It's like, it's kind of reductive, right? Uh, Rio uh, remains silent and then he decides to move outside. He's gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait you outside. And he walks away. Yeah. All right. And, Maybe uh, we should look in the place, find some clue. I'm checking Volo's fake dead body. Fucking Volo, did, man. Did I still have my katana in my head? Hand? No, Sorry. you yeah, still have your katana in your hand. It looks like uh, some kind of custom design katana. He has like a red handle like your scarf. And is a very a shape is a reflect the color of your skin. Almost is what we made for you. Okay. And the katana is uh, very big. Like uh, is like Alf Marcus. Okay. So from now on, like looking at him more, just searching what happened all around. Can I? Can I collect the head of the fake volu? Yes. I'm taking it. He's, I'm he has it. a the head has a stupid smile. Nice. Hey yeah, guys, yeah. what do you think about this? You think that Yvette is gonna like it? <laughs> Wait, that she sees this shit. Yeah, a fake uh, bolos head that you can even open his mouth if you want. You can play with it. Man, oh, don't, that's, don't that's show this to her, man. I don't think she will. She will find it funny. Yeah, there's only one way to know. I'm <laughs> putting it in my bag. Mm. All right. You're reminded of the fact that uh, Samir got in a shootout. Wow. So, yeah. what was that with Samir? Yeah, she, she wanted to know what's going on and wanted to get here, but then she got attacked by some gunshots. Um, I think it was like the place where we were before, you know, where we landed. I mean, yeah. not exactly sure, but maybe we should go outside. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there is much more to do here. Let's yeah. go. And we we head out. Mm -hmm. All right, you head out, and then as soon as you head out, you don't see Rio anymore. Mm. I don't know, man, here. <sighs> oh, you mean outside, outside, do we go to the... Okay. Up, up, up. Wait. Like here? We're here, right? Oh, yeah. Or I mean, do we go out in the street, go... straight out? Yeah, if you want, you can directly teleport outside the city if you don't want to do anything more inside of here. Yeah, I guess. And along the way, though, you don't see Rio anymore. And neither dog you. Mm. Great. First, first uh, event goes away and then Rio. Nice. And Bono is somewhere we don't know to. Yes. <laughs> every every time about... you want. What about Eli? Is she is she back on consciousness? Is she back uh, conscious? Bear, you realize that Eli is unconscious. Yes. Well, Eli, you okay in there? Yeah. Well, and you're like, yeah. I'm actually just tired. It's fine. And I'm yeah. I'm using the uh, I'm using I'm I'm rerouting my power a bit, like to, yeah. toward her to let her rest like properly. Eli, Eli is uh, heard, had like the. Um, the hardest from even from the bear on the hacking, but uh, she didn't get hacked directly. She just prevented the bear to get hacked completely, and in doing so, she basically used all her energy. Mm. It, uh, it, wow. it she didn't even have the time to react because it happened in an instant. Okay. Wow, so much I can do, I guess. Should no, you, you realize that she just needs to rest. She will recharge uh, with your mana all the okay. time. That's fine. Guys, you can go yeah. out. It's uh, it's like the place is empty. We can go out from here. Okay. <laughs> you go outside in the street, and then you see that there is like... Uh, as soon as you arrive here... You see that there is like uh, another bomb exploding, like in the quarter over there. So the bombs oh, are wait. not over. 
Like the gas bomb, you mean? Yes. Okay, guys, I think that this place is out of bounds. Like, it's going to be filled up with gas soon. We should, like, walk back and go to Samir. Run. Yeah. Let's go. Well, yeah. As we walk by the that I punched earlier, I'm like, that guy is going to die. I take him with us. I put him <laughs> on my shoulder, and I save him. Okay. Yeah, but you put, you put him on the... On the car, because at least oh, yeah, well, I, I took him from the car and I walk away with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I fuck those guys, yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, All right, and then uh, you see that there is like some explosion coming up from there, and, mm -hmm. and you see that there is like a, a giant uh, portal that has been opened over there. There is Serene, which is turned into a dragon. And he's shooting like a fire breath against somebody, but you don't see who. Because it's too far. Like the situation. What's happening it's... there? Can we try to contact Samir? We can try, yes. I mean, we... Yeah, we can try to call her. If she can answer is another question. Well, let's see. Samir? Samir, can you hear us? We will try to call her, but she doesn't reply. Yeah, I figure she was in a what? she was in a in a fight when she stopped talking. So I guess she's still uh, either still running or fighting. Okay, well I guess we can go there. I mean, it looks dangerous, but if Samir is there, we don't really have the choice, right? So let's just go. Yeah. We have to go anywhere, right? Okay, imagine we are scaled down. You keep right? going there, and as soon as you arrive here, you feel another last another final explosion, and after that. There is only silence, and the portal uh, closes. Hmm. Okay. Well, what now? Should we cross? Is there? Is there? Can we still see something there? I mean, here it, uh, where the portal was. It became quiet. There is no can we see right? something because we're we're standing like next to the to the to the water, so we can look there. Is there still something? No, you don't see anything. It's too distant to see from here to get okay. closer. But the yeah. fight has stopped. I guess we can just go, right? Like all the yeah, we don't have choice. Just stop no, your right. car here and just like. <laughs> I guess we arrive here. You arrive there, and then you see uh, Seren uh, like knocked down, like very injured, almost dead, and she's like, uh, she she cannot uh, she cannot really say anything like complete. Okay. Wow. I can. I I mean I can use some mana to to heal her a bit. You manage to heal her so she's not uh, in danger, like, like danger anymore. And she's like, It took. It took. Samir. And then she's just like uh, bleeding out. I mean, can I not give her enough heal to make her at least stay alive? Yes, yes, you saved her life already. She's like okay. uh, stable. She's just uh, knocked out from it, okay. I yeah, she's just she's just very weak. Okay. Okay. Okay, but can someone take her because I'm already like carrying the obo. Everyone is taking any anyone, it seems. <sighs> Damn it. So what now? I said a demon army they they cannot take all of them. And then she she loses, she loses consciousness. Did someone catch that? She said something about demon army. Yeah, I didn't get that. Well, so, what she gets gonna do? Your your uh, ticket out of here is gone, and then you have the fog on the other side. 
everywhere. Oops. Is that a boat that we can take? Yes. Okay, I think we can use that boat to leave this place. We you might want to... to. I mean, you know how to. I mean, what about the others? What do we do? Drive it? Yeah, let's just take the boat and let's just drive away from here before this place gets like, you know, impossible to be around, like with the gas and everything. We're going to try to contact the others later. Yeah, you get to, you get to the boat, um, and then you see that sure. in the boat there is not uh, enough mana to start it out. It's a old boat. Ah, oh, shit. You okay. feel like uh, you, you start <laughs> to feel like that everything is against you right now. Yeah, I mean, I I don't feel well to to leave Rio and uh, Volo behind, but I don't know where where they are. This. Uh... It's... How to yeah. to check or it? I don't know. Rio have some I think some ways as an android that we could manage to to refine or something like that. I mean, let me let me try to contact Rio. I don't know if maybe she she has a way yeah, to answer yeah. on her on her uh, radio. Hello, hello, Rio. Are you there? Can you answer? He's not picking up. Yeah, I thought so. But you know, like, just making sure. Uh, okay. So, okay. Eli, Eli what are uh, uh, so I, I, I'm barely conscious to start to make a sense of what's happening. So, let me let me put this straight. So, we lost, we lost midnight. Resu, uh, Sunrise just uh, went away in the town when we divided, and we don't know if she's still alive through the fog. We just lost Yvette, Rio, and Volo, which is kidnapped by Verkil, and now we just lost Samir? Why is this happening? Why do we keep losing all the time? This Verkil is like always ahead of us. It's so frustrating. And she's very sad right now. I don't know what to do. I like me too, I'm not the more empathic guy in the team. You realize that yeah. uh, usually is Yvette the one who's applying to her, but she's not here though. And Yvette is not here to console me. And she's crying uh, hard. <laughs> I'll go I thought... to the bear and and knock like on the back to 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 uh, Eli. Say like, come on, Eli. I know it's hard. We're 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 doing our best to get them back. We just have to figure out where to go. What about this place? It's a it's an old uh, tower used like uh, for communication. It's the first time I see something trying. Can I just come closer and watch what happened? Like <laughs> yes, asking? and you see that there is like tears coming out from the, from her face. I'm trying to touch it. Like you touch the tear. Tiny... And, and then you feel like, uh, as if you can uh, empathize with their emotions. You almost want to cry too. Uh, it's strong, you cannot really control it. Okay, I get back very fast. Like, taking two, uh, two steps back. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying no, nothing let me, anymore. Put some, let me put some sad songs. This is like a very dire moment for the group. As Jack G would say, it is in the very hard moments that you see what the people are made of when the group manage to get out of it, although they get destroyed by the difficulty of the situation. Hmm. All right, guys, I think this is true. What can we do? We need to find the Rio. Yeah, we have to go back. I mean, 
There's no way uh, where we can go. So we have to go back into the city. No, you see that sure. uh, this area of the city has already been taken over by the gas. All right. Okay. There is a gas over here, which is the area you came. What about gas the over here? What about the roofs? Are they all covered? No. Yeah, you so we could technically jump from some of the roofs. Okay, so we cannot really see down from the roofs, but we could get inside the city over the roofs. Mm, we we, we have grappling hooks, we have magic. I mean, what are the odds they are still alive there? Cares about the odds. We Eli, have Eli is like. Let me do a scan, and then she just pops up from your head, from the, from your behind, and then she starts like uh, flying around and making like a scouting of the situation. Oh shit! It's too big. <laughs> oh, one. And Jay and hologram. She starts flying like up there, and she's like scanning potential living creatures in the area. Area number one is safe. Area number two, a lot of casualties. Area number three, oh my. And half of the humans there are dead. And also there too. This is a massacre. And the droids, like, they are all overtaken. Okay, so our only options are to go. What about the last area in the town? Like on the on the full east. This area, this area is already taken. Taken over. Okay, all this part here. Yeah. The fog, the fog is going away, but uh, you know that there's gonna be a lot of um, these creatures that have been uh, corrupt, been corrupted. Okay. The boat, and... uh, the boat is damaged and it's missing the mana. However, technically, it could be recharged. Recharged with mana or what? Yes, you know that uh, they work with mana. That? Huh? Can I use mana from my side? I mean, uh, like. How much mana know, do you yeah. have left to use out of spells tonight? Yes, but I do have a two. Uh, I have two bottles left of mana potions because oh, we okay. picked them up in the meantime. If you have uh, the potion, you could directly use the potion as fuel. Okay, then I will use a potion. Do you think we can use the boat? Yes, you can uh, You can fix the boat now that you have the mana as a fuel. Okay. Wow, good save, man. Right okay. then. At least we have a way forward. Let's go in the boat, then let's try to turn it yeah. on. You start uh, working on the boat. And now that uh, I'm going to show you the big map, okay? And where you are right now, and then you can tell me which side you're gonna go of the city because it's like you're in this coast over here, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna go towards this direction or towards this direction, like right I mean, or left? This direction was where the the ship flew, right? No, the, I mean, the, the, right the, the ship from the guy flew through this direction. Uh, this direction. Yeah, uh, I mean, but I mean, he was literally leaving the country. So probably I mean, where, where Volo was on. Yes. The big ship. That was his. Okay. okay. So wait. Can you check the, the world map? Yes. Left? So you, this... are, uh, you are here. Uh, we are here. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, this, this area is fucked anyway. I think we should leave, like, maybe to Savakapis or whatever place it is. Okay. No, leave this leave this revenge and, like, go to yes. the other part of the continent. We cannot, we cannot leave the town without Yvette, Rio, and Volo. Yeah, I also, I also don't think we should just leave. Let's just, let's just, like, you know, use the boats to go around then the coast and, like, see if we can see a place where they're, like, you know, where yes. the guy's not overtaking all the, uh, everything, you know. 
Let's move find some dogs. Yeah. All right, so you start moving with the ship. And the ship is quite slow, but it feels the first uh, moment of peace that you had, like, uh, in a long time. And Sene is still uh, unconscious, but uh, she's already better a little bit. But uh, she will not be able to fly anytime soon. What are you guys going to do or say in the meantime, as we are traveling around the ship? Recover? Mm. Yeah, it comes as a short rest. So you are uh, in a rest moment right now. I'm going to recharge my rocket launcher and clean it. Okay, it is going to give you a hand. Marcus, what you gonna do? Um, how much is short rest gonna help me in terms of uh, regaining? You, you recharge half of your mana. All right then. And how about they... Yeah. Sorry. No, yeah, no. Okay, finish. Sorry, uh, I was thinking you finish. Okay, just want to say I want to also reload my pistol with the bullets. Okay. So that, that's it. And okay. yeah, the, the shield and physical values uh, yeah, get they, to normal. Yes, okay. they, they get fully recharged. Also, the bear shield gets fixed. Nice. As soon as while you keep going, uh, Marcus, and you're focused on, uh, on the gun, you start receiving mm -hmm. like uh, some inputs on your mind. My mind, like visions. Yes, it's uh, it's um, Lydia trying to reach you up. Can I can I answer? Hello? You need you need focus first. Okay, I will stop. You are physically uh, you don't you didn't realize, but you are very stressed right now. So you need uh, some time to focus. Okay, I will stop. Uh... Uh, re re put putting the bullets into my pistol and try to focus on that. Okay. Let's say I have filled it halfway, like Adels. four and four bullets or something. Yeah. But there was you see Marcus focusing, and uh, yeah. in it's something that you have never seen, because uh, for some reason you are able to see some kind of uh, color through him. This is a uh, green. Almost as if the flow of mana, and it's something that's strange because uh, you feel like you're almost seeing magic, which is something that uh, an argent usually cannot do. Mm. Well, what I'm seeing, Marcus, around you. What? <laughs> Mar Marcus, I'm yeah. seeing something around you. Yeah, but what are you seeing around me? Some colors. Do I see really? something as well, or is it just what he sees? I don't know. I just see something around you that first time I see, like the things falling down her eyes. Okay. I mean, what what do I see in, in the vision? Can I see something already? Yeah, you are not quite connected yet. And... Uh... Okay. Yeah, okay, you you are uh, you are starting to okay. Then I say like Redrails, I'm trying to 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 connect to something to to get like a a mental connection. Could you give me a moment? Yeah, sorry, sure. So okay. you see that uh, the mana around Marcus is getting uh, stronger, and. Uh, you manage to see a vision appearing in his head. It's strange. You, it's looked like you are seeing a ghost that is entering his body and is possessing him. Hmm. I see. And then your swords start talking to you. I see. Do you see it too? I see it. You know I what it is? I don't want to listen my sword. <laughs> Trying this to ignore her. 
<laughs> I wonder if you know what you are, Edreus. What are you? Should I, are you a unique being? A being made of other beings? A child which is just born? A seasoned man? Ardent? Just... What are Don't you? talk. Stop talking. Stop. If and I'm reject... trying to get an Alec far away. If you reject your nature, you reject your power. And power is the most important thing. <laughs> yeah, the katana is far and taking my head in my hand and try to to remain calm. You manage to remain calm. The katana remains silent again. Marcus, you finally managed to establish a connection with Lydia. You see her mana flowing through you, and you find yourself into a water pool. And as you move your feet inside the water, and you feel like the waves created around you, you see Lydia taking form in front of you. Hello, Marcus. Hello. You were reaching out to me. I saw what is you, it you need? I saw you had a bad day. I wanted to see what you're doing. Well, first we lost follow. Then we lost Yvette, even though she left to find something. We don't know what is going on with her. Then... Rio just wandered off and we don't know where she is now. We're basically like, we don't know what to do at the moment. She takes like, uh, take, uh, she takes a moment of silence and then she applies to you. And then she gets closer. And touches your face, and she's like, Oh, Marcus, sometimes, sometimes the fire is just around you, and all you can do is either stand still or move forward. If you stand still, you're gonna die. So I say, Fuck it, run, run on the fire. And keep going. Because this is going to be the only way you might see the other side. You mean inside the, inside the smoke? Where we cannot see? I don't know if that's the only solution. To go inside the smoke. To go directly into the nest of your enemy. Or to just see whatever the future brings to you. You have your choices. But I'm going to tell you this. The externals, me, we are with you. And thanks to the help that you gave us, fighting against the great demon Arconte, now we have a chance to fight. Here, the battle has finally taken the form of resistance. And this is all thanks to you, thanks to Midnight's sacrifice. Thanks to what you have done, your friends. Now we have a chance and we have hope. And that's all we need to keep going. So I have decided to go through the fire. And I might not return, we might all die. But you know what? It will be worth it because we are fighting for something greater than us, for something just. So, Marcus, are you ready to fight? Yeah, right. We have to go. We have to fight. I don't know where, but 
we we have to find a way. Let's do it. I will see you soon, Marcus. And she disconnects. And uh, you come back to the presence. And you realize that uh, the voice um, and things, the discussion that you had, both the bear and the Redreus heard it. Yeah. You see yes. that uh, there is like a wave of mana shaping up the form, the form of, of a moon in the sky. Mm -hmm. It's the same color of your own mana. Nice. Okay. Guys, I don't know where to go, but we will not stop. We will, we will not give up, okay? We have to get our friends back. Right. You are with me, yeah? Yes. I'm, I move my hand to make like the friendship sign, but you guys have to put your hand on my hand. Okay. But don't, I'm looking. But don't hold it too, too tight, please. Okay, Bear? Bear. I'm looking at you both and like, the fuck? Okay. What Come are on. You Put your just, hand, just do okay. what, what we do, yeah. And I put my hand too. And this is okay. where our session ends tonight. With a sharp, a glint of hope for everyone. Good job, everyone. You were great. Great, especially in this last scene. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Man, this was like uh, an interesting session, huh? Yeah. This is like the first friendship. time you actually managed to accomplish a stealth mission. I'm surprised. It was the bare night at the beginning. Like, you couldn't be stopped, man. Yeah, <laughs> and then he got stopped by me in one round. Uh, yeah. luck. <laughs> Go, it's fine, because, you know, I was not supposed to... You know, it's better that you took me down, right? So in the end, it's like yes. I, all, all the star lined when I fucked it up with the with the bug that like took me took down my shield. It was for the good of the group, you know. Yes, that's true. Yeah, the map is great, uh, Jacob. By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it, it, this, yeah. this way, this way to do, you know, on the last uh, last session, it was mm -hmm. good, right? It, it was already very good, but I re I really really like it. I think I think that's the best way to go at least for at the moment. Yeah. Nice, nice. I will keep going in this direction. Then I'm really happy that it's working out because yes, this way you have like a lot of visual props and a lot of stuff that you can. Yeah, do. yeah, it's oh. it's better, you know. And we can just like move ourselves like slowly, you know, and not just like you know move like by square. So you know, in some in some in some cases, it's like it makes like more sense. You we just move, you stop us, you know, and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like it. Yeah. Right. Uh, all right, guys, I'm going to say thank you to the chat for being with us tonight. And thank you for you guys for joining up. And we will probably see each other, if not at the end of the month, at the beginning of September. So please, everybody, enjoy your summer. And we look forward to see each other in the next episode. Have a great night. Ciao. Bye. Bye.